shit, I almost feel bad having to cut that song off. I'll be honest with y'all. That was around the time I was tired of seeing Neo in the Heights. No, 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 Microphone check, one, two, what is this? The JBP boys back to business. Ooh, rhyme. Episode, Ooh. uh, pardon me, Roy. Uh, episode 323, is that what you're doing? Why you look dyslexic? What are you doing? Is this a three? <laughs> no, he, he blood. He is the softest blood. <laughs> He's like the he last day his period. He his, oh, shit. <laughs> He's just spotting? Yeah. yeah he's, spotting. It's just a stream. He's it's just a stream. <laughs> he's spotting. <laughs> Welcome to episode 323 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored and narcissistic host, Joe Budden. <laughs> here, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Brother Maul is here. Brother Parks is here. Brother Rory is here. Brother Erickson is here. Brother Savon is here. Brother Alex the Great. Uh, Sister Rem is here. Huh? How's everybody doing, man? How y'all feeling? Great. I'm, I know. Five no, years of this. I'm a little mad you didn't rap all our, our names like Common did. <laughs> <laughs> why, why didn't you come prepared? <laughs> come on, Joe. This is your time. First of all, that, you're... That almost you're, ruined first, Well, first of all, you're, well, before, you're lying, first of all. Why? Because Common didn't rhyme anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I would a couple balls around. Man, all right. I'm there were some, right. si- some syllables that didn't quite match. <laughs> you hating. Nah, he's like, you know how he <laughs> go hating. from the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> I was like, nah, that was bars. Oh, what time is this over? I just wanted to play basketball. Well, first of all, this guy did not make resurrection. <laughs> I'm certain. Y'all give your takes. Because <laughs> this is how I get in trouble. And in 2020, I want to get in trouble less. <clears throat> okay. So what did I, you guys think I, I, I of legendary MC Chicago MC Common we, Sense? We love Common. And I loved how involved Common was the entire here weekend. Hate, here comes some hate. Here comes some hate. Right <laughs> oh, it's coming. Love. It's coming. I loved hate. he was in the, the uh, celebrity game. I loved that he was a judge in the dunk contest. I loved that he was just walking in Chicago for B-roll. I love that he looked over the Lego city and was like, I'm from this side. And then someone else came in and was like, but I'm from this side. Mm. Like, I loved all of that. I thought it was great. I thought his poem in the beginning was cool. No, you're building him up. You about to break him down. <laughs> Got and, to. And he, about, boy, he, about, he about to break him down. Boy, would I have wished he wished he would have went home to L.A. at that point. <laughs> I did not need 30 minutes of him trying to rhyme foreigners names. <laughs> To yeah, regular words, I think Kupo's a hard everything word to write. up until the 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 announcement of the, was the fun. players was cool. Like was the fun. whole was fun. the whole poem he did. You like it? The poem was long, but it was it was good though. He could have gave me a sixteen. I have so much to say that I'm saying nothing. Oh, you're a pussy. <laughs> no, it was good. I was poem, tired of com- good. I'm, I'm I'm shocked at y'all. I was tired of common before Sunday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we we, we haven't seen him much, fam. Really? Fam, Everywhere. I have never seen a weekend where I was begging to see G Herbo, yeah. Herbo or Lil Durk more. Like, give me do or die. <laughs> Fam. <laughs> where's Twist at? Yeah, Common, where's Common already want to be the ball hog in the celebrity game. <laughs> Try to get MVP. Tried to well, bang it know, on. Qu- no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. You know he, he's he, just right. He played in just right. He played for the Nets, like. In that movie, so he, he's, I think he played basketball in college or something too. Man, I he wouldn't give a fuck what he did in college. Why do <laughs> I have to watch Common Sense try to bang it on Quavo? <laughs> but wait, we're in Chicago and it's Friday yeah. night, and my loser ass is in the house doing nothing. So why don't you stop hating, Joe? Let Common enjoy yourself. That's what I told myself before I went to bed. Okay. Yeah. Then Saturday came. Guess who I see again? On, Fucking uh, Common Sense on the wake up. Oh, no. <laughs> on the early. <laughs> I'm just saying, what was he doing Saturday? Some bullshit. I'm like, all right, you got it. Him and Callie, they stroll out there. Yeah. Cool. I never thought I would see Common on Sunday. And here he is, Sunday night. We ain't even asked for that freestyle. Yo, y'all. Oh, I heard y'all. <laughs> it's like, oh, y'all want me to rewind? <laughs> no. So Get I, off the fucking. I like, I like the poem about Chicago, like or the players that came up out of Chicago, Ben Wilson and D Wade. Like, I liked how he paid. That was cool, but that announcement of the stars. We got good food here. I just ate while I'm at it, y'all. Shout out to D Wade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's I, from Chicago. And then though. I went that on went over your head. Then I went online. <laughs> and good food. And his I mom went, owned a restaurant. I went online. I think Bleacher Report or somebody was putting up common clips. Elliot, somebody that posts clips. 
Uh, and all of the comments said, oh, that's why he's the God MC of Chicago. Who better from Chicago? I'm like... Lupe. I, I, I did <laughs> do, feel... Do, do we know Lupe's name? I did feel like a real piece of shit when I was watching him announce everyone and I was looking at my timeline at the same time and everyone was up in arms about how, how amazing it was. I thought it was really good. And I was sitting on the couch like, I think I'm going to wait for the second half. I thought it was good until the, like you said, the player announcement. Yeah, that's the player what he announcement, started, that, he lost that was kind of... That was and cool. fans, listen... Another one of those moments where Rory and Maul shortchange you guys on on amazing analysis and don't utilize their platforms because they're afraid. One Wait, day we'll talk common? about one, yeah, No, not, not common, but common prancing around doing his holding his raising the Chicago flag and Rory telling me he live in L.A. leads me to <laughs> lead, lead, leads me to the, conver- the conversation that y'all be running from about all of these rapper niggas that do that. That do How hey? When is the statute statute of limitations for repping a city that you ain't in, ain't been in? Oh, no. quiet. Mm. All right, my bad. My, never mind. Wait, that's where you never think Maul and I was gonna take it? No, and, no, no. I think y'all all... would have never took it there because y'all pussy. <laughs> but some of your favorite New York rappers I'm, I'm ran right down to Atlanta when Atlanta started popping. And that's my point. And still started claiming New just because you stayed was... in Edgewater doesn't mean that the rest of the world can't go to where the where the actual shit is happening. So tell people me, people collaborate in L.A. every day. So I it's easier. 20, 2020, Rory, I don't really fuck with. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just throwing that out there. It's a feeling is mutual. Rory, <laughs> so what's the statute of limitations? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think me. if you're doing do, something do you, positive for your whole time. Oh, my fucking. All right, man. Let's and you can't say right. about Common, who kind of was so wait, one of the first people in, in Common Chicago is, hip-hop. Common is not the name that I want to talk about here. So, oh, I mean, okay, okay, if okay, you're going to get us off of this, then awesome. Who you want to talk about? Kanye? Well, Kanye no, did tell us no. that he was he was never going to leave Chicago and then left the next morning. But <laughs> I spent my whole weekend trying to figure out what Kanye people were driving, giving out Yeezys. <laughs> I, I didn't see the vid. I missed the vid. Some too. type of deceptive content. They built a fucking Adidas Tesla. Probably the Tesla. Joint. I was going to say, was it the Tesla yeah, no. with, with the windows that break? I don't know if this shit had windows. It looked good though. <laughs> All right. Well, shout out to Kanye for giving out sneakers. And shout out to all you rappers that move out of your city as soon as you get a deal. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I do too. Okay, but, but, how, but, how, yeah, but, yeah. but how do you feel I about the? You, 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 you got to stay alive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The fuck. And, and hip hop is so much more than just New York, Atlanta, L.A. Now, like you kind of have to leave to go. No, it's still just them. <laughs> That's not true. We're always trying to give the right answer. Yo, we so global now. <laughs> we so global. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even see this clip right here. <laughs> well, Screen Man will put it right there for you. Um, oh, yeah. What the fuck are those? Yeah, I'm not. No, this my is beef is not Chirac that. For real. My beef is not that. But why you gotta still claim the old city and the new city? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> I mean, what you? That's where you from? from there. You went to school. So there, why you can't throw in a there? byway of? Byway means you were just there for a little stint. All right, fuck it. Yeah. You spent a good twenty in the hometown. That's your hometown. Yeah, you Common won one uh, MVP with ten points. <laughs> Surprise, Chance he was in it. Chicago. <laughs> right. Chance was also everywhere. How was, all right, well, how was his brother? I didn't. I, I missed. I, I missed the performance. <laughs> Chance's brother. Chance's brother. Pick, Chance's right? brother played in the celebrity game. <laughs> I think Rory, in the and while this podcast has existed, has accrued beefs with rappers that he won't tell us about. Not, not like, Chance, though. I think Chance is on that list. Nah, no I think, way. I think Chance and Drake. Can you guys make up your mind? No. Yeah, no. You Chance, call me a Chance Dick Rider, and then now I'm a Chance. <laughs> no. It's Chance, Drake, Chance. And, and Taylor Bennett. And Taylor <laughs> Bennett. It might be Taylor Bennett. It might be Taylor Bennett. No, 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 Taylor, I take that back. Yeah. It might be Taylor Bennett. A no, bunch of my was... friends wanted to know how Rory just heard that Chance album and thought it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of my I was, friends. I was a smoker. You're so full of shit. No, seriously. How you come back 10 months after that trash and say... The debt was hard. Yeah, Rory has Rory has hired an image consultant. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing a shitty job with my clothes. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> what did y'all think of All Star Weekend uh, as a whole? Oh, I was still on Taylor Bennett. Oh yeah, you didn't give us uh, your Taylor Bennett take. Uh, my take was Taylor Bennett. You feel it, it was the same time. Like I'd imagine when you had siblings that your mom said you have to take your little brother with you if you're going to go to the courts. <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor Bennett. <laughs> Had to go play in the celebrity game with Chance, according to Chance's mom. Sounds about right. I always feel bad because you could tell the dudes that wasn't that are not used to getting so much camera time because they start doing extra shit when they get camera time. I just felt like Taylor Bennett was a little. 
put a little extra sauce on it. Yeah, yeah, he put a little oh, extra but you, sauce yeah, on it. Yeah, he had, you know how many people was watching? To. But what you thought was going to happen? So you're saying it's okay for... No, I didn't say it was okay. To, oh, okay. I said what you thought okay. was going to happen. I didn't know. I never thought about Taylor Bennett before. <clears throat> well, now, <laughs> I don't know. Look, if, now we talking about him, see? <laughs> if I looked exactly like my famous brother, I'm not myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why you were upset at no, Common the entire time. I'm you. Mm, good point, Roy. Mm, yeah, he did go for the the bald beard championship yeah. combo. It's cool. <laughs> Wait, what combo? I went for? The ball with the, the beard combo. Yeah. The common combo. Yeah, the common combo. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to hear him on his. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's a good shot. You see, you see, uh, Maul put Savon onto the Basquiat shit. You know what I'm saying, eat my nigga. Wait, why Jeez. you made why you made me throw my Big Sean hoodie? You can't shit on Big Sean for three years and then do a pull up and then now you got his hoodie on. The buddy buddy, now. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> we not doing that. I'm not letting you do that. I'm not gonna let you go out like that. Did you see the headlock? Yes, <laughs> it was a wrestle. Yeah, they settled it right there. At the headlock? Yeah, like, oh, okay. like grown men. Yeah, but you can't put the hoodie on after the headlock. Let's talk for two hours. I'll let you throw no, me in the headlock. He's saying in that headlock, that cool. wear my fucking merch. Oh, okay. <laughs> got you. Did he give you noogie? I did think that headlock was a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to let niggas do their weird shit. Instinctually, the next move from here is to pick you up off of the ground <laughs> and <laughs> earth slam you on the ground. <laughs> but Suplex. can I do that to Big Sean at the pull-up? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that to Big Sean. Uh, it's good merch, number one. No, it is. And, it and, and, is. and, and number two, uh, it's not that I wore it so much because it was Big Sean's merch. Like, product placement is important. Sometimes if you just bring a hoodie that ain't the, a horrible hoodie, one day a nigga gonna need to just throw a hoodie on. Oh, yeah. And that's what happened today. It wasn't that's like a, a... That's an image con- consultant, if I've ever heard one. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like a stylish thing with me, you guys. No, you matched it. I cold. thought it was a I nice was hoodie. Style. You was styling on them. Look at y'all. Y'all rather talk about nothing for an hour than get into how you really feel on our five year anniversary. <laughs> Anything to not discuss your emotions. Right? I avoid. No, I avoid my no, feelings. I know you do. We still want I know. So give me some all star shit. Um. Well, I, I love. I love the uh, the new format in the game. I, I can't end on a free throw though. That I mean, was, games end on a free throw. That was way too much excitement for it to end at the free throw line. Like I didn't like that. But I do love the new format. How I would they change that though? That's win by two. Yeah, like the other team should be able to come down and get an opportunity to score. And if you stop them, then you win. Win by two, can't win it from the line. Yeah. Okay. Well, I apologize because I, sh- I shit on it right when I saw yeah, it. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I owe this Adam Silver stupid. an apology as well. The entire NBA, anybody who had anything to do with the rule changes, <laughs> boy, do I owe you an apology. What an amazing game. But you know what? That's not fair because. I was shitting on the rules partly because we've never seen the NBA players play serious in an All Star game. So well, that's the, a lot the rule of times change means nothing if the players are not going to play serious. But for some reason, the players played semi serious, and that was really enjoyable to watch. Mm. Is this the first yeah. year that they along did with the, the rule um, changes? This is the first year they did the donation thing. Uh, I'm not sure. In, that, in that. that way, I think. Yeah. Okay. That may have attributed. Possibly to them playing harder as well. But I, I kept feeling really bad because I wasn't quite sure if, because they kept showing the kids in the different color uniforms and shit. I was like, wait, so at one point, is the whole half of this gym going to be disappointed? <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> they just kept going back and forth. Tell me how you feel about all these donations that may happen or not. <laughs> yeah, I liked it though. I love the format. Definitely got to win by two though, for sure. Is that the end of your all star now? And I didn't understand why uh, they had Luca and Trey Young on the bench in the fourth court. Like, I didn't understand. Y- y'all need to score. You got Luca and Trey Young sitting on the bench. And somebody was out there, but that Kyle Lowry was running around. All right, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. You can right can suck right Kyle Lowry. Anytime. We can be talking about the NFL. Kyle, but you can suck him out for Luca or Trey Young. We have this conversation every year, but I'm going to have it again. There's some Kyle Lowry smoke coming? Maul, coming. No, enough of me protecting you. Hmm? We feel the same way, Maul. So, I just, so I just stop said it. it. I just said it. Why every year is he out there? No, he deserves <laughs> to be an all-star. 
Toronto's every abs- year Toronto's they say that hooping. To us. No, Toronto's playing great basketball. I know, basketball. so they, so we got to pick dudes because no, the he team deserved to be breath. at the game, but he deserved which, to watch the game. Fourth, <laughs> which one of you called him Raymond Felton with Drake's phone number? It was one of you two. Me, <laughs> he is. <laughs> That's mad funny. Fam. Nah, he, he, nah, he better than Ray Felt. Don't do that. I can't. Fam, he like out that. there fucking slapping the hardwood on the last play. Nah, I got him. Well, you got to play defense. Fam, I'm not you're mad not at even that. supposed to be out here with this nine. Yeah. <laughs> but I was looking at Luca and Trey Young on the bench like, uh, they should be on the floor right now. No, your first all-star game. You got to sit down. Shit, you can't die. It's veteran time. I can't time. tell. It's veteran time. You got to sit down. The way Luca playing, I can't tell this is first all-star game. You like how he looks out there? This season? What? Hell you, didn't, yeah. you didn't draft him for your fantasy team. First pick. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh, so what's your record? I'm third in the league. What is your record? Uh, it's You know, it's like oh, 82 yeah, and yeah. 60 or something like that. It's, it's points. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, got it. I, I never played uh, fantasy basketball. Yeah. Don't um, We don't deserve Aaron Gordon. That's my takeaway for the weekend. Yeah. Uh, That's my that's takeaway fair. for the weekend. Dwayne Wade, man, you were, what a naughty boy. What a what? <laughs> Dwayne Wade's the naughty. He's boy. the one that skewed the the points. I mean, it hasn't. But come then out. he said, "I'm not the only one that gave him a nod." Like I ain't like but Dwayne did that. <laughs> he wanted to make it clear, like, nah, it was some other yeah. nines up there. Uh, do y'all think Aaron Gordon won the dunk contest? Let me ask, start there. I think he has two of the best dunks of all time in the dunk contest. Yeah, it's, I, I think he won. Don't get it twisted, though. Um, this is one of the best dunks I ever seen. This was nuts. That, that, that Fultz, Fultz pass off the side. <laughs> Nah, the windmill shit is insane. Yeah, this, 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 right this yeah. turn around, grab it in the air, one hand, look at the rim, find it again, <laughs> slam it on. Like, <laughs> it's ridiculous. That is one of the best dunks I've ever seen. Yeah. And somehow he lost to a guy that did the same dunk four times. <laughs> and Different it, angles. And so. it was a dunk that looked amazing, not in slow-mo. Yeah. Like, it looked crazy yeah, it regular. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he definitely put on a show. The first time that... uh. Derrick Jones Jr. did the uh, under-the-leg dunk. Everybody went crazy. Twitter erupted. And I'm sitting there like, see, that's why I seem be seeming like a hater. Because I've seen this dunk. Like, why do I? It's not yeah, having the same. No, nah, not, not that one. We haven't seen that one. Not, not going spinning the opposite way with the left hand. Yeah, one of them shits is I'm telling y'all, that y'all, no. y'all have to go on team flight. Brothers <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. no. I'm talking about NBA. I'm talking about NBA. But these NBA dudes ain't creative to me. Which is why, oh, leading up to the dunk contest, I've been championing the dudes that's just in the gym bugging out. Yeah. And another thing that I, I they, they and this find, is nit, this is nitpicking right now. They should find some way to add those those guys in though, because those guys are insane. Yeah. This is nitpicking right now, but I, I also don't like how high his leg goes in all of the between the leg dunks. <laughs> but he has to get his leg up though. He's, he's I tall. know. I know. <laughs> to, to execute the dunk. But look how high his knee gets. Yeah. So to to look at that and know that you did this four times. No, 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 no. Get him the fuck no, out of here, man. That's a hard dunk. Right? I'm well, not Aaron Gordon with Derek also Jones, then just redid his dunk to prove to everyone, yeah, I could do that too. I'm doing some other great shit over here. Stop giving him 50s. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I get, man? Let me not be bitter, but fucking Aaron, Aaron Gordon, to the time it took to even be as creative with the dunks as he's been in the last two dunk contests I've seen from him. It's like, damn, we're not going to award creativity at all. Yo, yeah, fam, he wasn't even running far to get the, the lead into to dunking. I think we're just walking back to the three-point line and say, all right. He jumped over <laughs> a whole go- mascot that year and put it under both of his legs. That was insane. Yeah, that was they was killing him for Taco Fall bending his head. He's 7'5". <laughs> He cleared if him. If he bend it, if he, he didn't. Cleared him. He if, cleared him anyway. His if, hands was up. But even if he didn't clear him, all right. Oh, nah, you only jumped over seven one of them. <laughs> I don't understand it. But congratulations to everybody. Aaron, uh, Aaron Gordon said after the dunk contest that we don't deserve him and he will not be participating anymore. And y'all going to be real mad about that next year. Mm. Yeah. Y'all going to be real mad about that next year when we stuck with that little white boy from the Bucks that, that tried <laughs> to do all that bull. Connaughton. Look at Roy. I know. Look at Connaughton. Look at me. <laughs> What's his name, Joe? Connaughton. <laughs> All we could get is Connaughton with a T-shirt. Man, if you don't get your ass back to Milwaukee, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't wait, so you didn't like when he jumped over Chance the Rapper, <laughs> or whoever that is. It's probably Taylor. Look, it was Taylor. That, look, Chance the Rapper or whoever that is. Roy gonna get snuffed. 
<laughs> I fuck with Chance. I'm surprised, y'all, uh, but that's probably why y'all didn't do uh, do say blues in Chicago. We, uh, Common was booked. I was trying to get him. <laughs> <laughs> He's booked out. <laughs> what else happened for All Star? Well, give us the real report, man. Yeah, come what on, was going on in the timeline? What's, what was going on in the algorithms? I don't. I, I don't well, care about it basketball. That, it wasn't. It wasn't that crazy, honestly. Like I didn't see too much. It was too uh, too cold to IG yeah, story. Yeah, I think that kind of. I think that kind of kept kept it. You know what I mean? Under. Yeah, hoes always talking about you. You you uh, hoes don't get cold, and this weekend kind of disproved that. Yeah, <laughs> they, they look pretty cold. Degrees. It was cold. Huh? It was seven degrees out there. Seven's too cold for hoeing. Yeah. No, I know, but I don't, I don't respect the hoes that can only hoe when it's hot. You gotta hold through it all. Yeah, yeah, and that's what. Yeah, that's what makes you gotta follow the money, like yeah, Wall right. Street. You right. right. What make them any different? You right. I feel you. They wasn't out there, but it's different now because you can hold from the in all now, climates. So. They they wasn't insta snapping coat check either. Them bitches don't like to show their coats. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice dress on with a North Face. You ever had a titty chick that just want to act hot and ditty, and then you see her coat? Yeah, it's like wait, 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 it wait, changes. wait, mama. When you have to dress outside of the bathing suit, no, no, it kind of changed my point of view of you. <laughs> yeah, no more good morning yeah. text for you. Like, I no, I, I don't give a fuck about your listen, morning. Listen, the, the, the thong and the Louis Vuitton sneakers that y'all all wear is cool. Yeah. Uh, like I fuck with y'all, mm-hmm. but then when you actually have to put some pants on, you get different. <laughs> your bitches' jeans be muddy. <laughs> where you get your jeans from? They be trying to fix it. Oh my god! I don't know where to buy jeans from. My waist, nah, 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 nah. 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 Hey, that little waistline that don't work yeah. for everybody. Got it. You got a waist, and they, and they make your size. Mm-hmm. Your uh, surgeon uh, designs for Fashion Nova. Man, yeah. you take your ass. Is, is dedicated to your your shape. And the uh, Fashion Nova he does the surgery you back. and designs the Fashion Nova. Yeah, he does. He's double dipping. Who facet? I don't know. <laughs> facet. That's your guy. Facet. That's where you send him. Who facet? But the who facet? Like just yelling. Who facet? What he has nothing to do. With who facet? Huh? Like, no. Who is facet? A legend. He's a legend. That didn't help Parks Ball. He designs all. Uh, Swimsuits. Long he designs hair. girls. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say. I thought Joe was talking about a surgeon. <laughs> Me too. He is. A he surgeon. might be. Yeah, he, <laughs> he might be. He's a sculptor. The way he moving is surgical. I tell you yeah, that. He's taking the bitches publishing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get the walkthrough money. I'll get the lingerie yes. money. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All those promo codes that goes in my pocket. And they be mm. so proud to promote. I love hey, it. pay facet. I'll be like, <laughs> oh, no, I nutted already off of you. <laughs> <laughs> I know not fast it. Uh. <laughs> All right. Anyway, all for uh. All Star Weekend. That's enough All Star Weekend. Any other takes? Anything that we missed? Keep that was that, keep that format, but change the. Got to win by two though. Got to win by two. Get the team a chance and, to score. And Kawhi continues not to like any of you. I love the three point contest. I didn't see it. I did. It was great. Who won? And it's been great. Buddy Hill okay. from uh, Sacramento. He was one of my three picks to win it. Uh, which were Devin Booker, Duncan Robinson, and uh, Buddy Hill. I ain't know. Ain't there like five people in it? No, nah, it's mad people. Oh, okay, in it. it's like nine of them. <laughs> oh, all right. I was about to say, if you're choosing three out of five, homeboy from uh, homeboy from Washington came out there and almost shot all my hopes down. He was all right. Who the hell was he? <laughs> oh, um, he Bertans? wasn't. He's Bertanis. Yeah, Bertans. he wasn't playing no games. I almost lost money fucking with him. Yeah, no, nah, he can shoot it. <laughs> I wish you would have texted me and told me. <sighs> All right, you guys. <laughs> this is when we have to cover the tough topics like breakups. Tackle. We tackle uh, the tough topics. Coming off of Valentine's Day? Tackle them. Yeah. Coming right off of Valentine's Day. That's we tough. didn't we didn't really provide analysis when Ray J and Princess Love did whatever they did. Mm-hmm. Is that her last name? Love? <laughs> no, that's Puff's last name. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Joey Love? <laughs> no, I'm not Joey. I'm Joey Hate. Um, Kaylani and YG seemingly have separated. No, oh, after the single, Joe. Right when we were believing in love. Now I don't bring that up here because we care about their breakup. Because we don't speak for yourself. I don't. Maybe that's why parties taking so long to come out. Because they broke up? 
He's trying to trying to outweigh it. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, weird okay. thing about trying to trying to outweigh the chick you love, the dude you with. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for mm-hmm. y'all to to fail. Gotta wait for love to then drop my album. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get her back. <laughs> wait for love. Oh, Mo, you trying to act like you don't know nothing about that bag? Well, I got you right now, man. Hey. Okay, so listen to this, you guys. YG and Kalani have seemingly separated. And we know this because Kalani went on her socials and said, I have separated from that guy. (laughs) Right. Which is cool. We don't care about this, but we did receive some new music from this, which I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I've been hoodwinked. Because it was just last week we came on this podcast. Rory made me listen to a YG and Kalani song. Mm Mm-hmm. I hated it on the first listen. Okay. And then by the second listen, I loved it. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was in. I was with this new image of YG being in love mm-hmm. and making songs like he's in love. Also, wait, hold up. Forgot that in our in our we, we later on when we get into our podcast anniversary rant. Mm-hmm. Uh the Nikki and Meek part. Remind me about that. Okay. Remind me about that. Now, uh, Back to Kehlani. So Kehlani put a record out. Did she put this out on Valentine's Day? I believe so, yes. I think it was on Valentine's. Oh, no, three days after Valentine's Day. And the record is called Valentine's Day. Shameful. Mm. So it was probably written. Hold up, hold up, I'll let Luther go. Hey! It's the fuck up, Parks. (laughs) (laughs) They don't know nothing about that. And that's why I can't fall in love. Bitches don't be willing to wait for love no more. No, nah, of course <laughs> not. What are we to death? Now, yes, yeah. why I've been single so long. First, first nah, day love. No, nah, now nah, I understand. Come on, man. Nah, Luther, taught me. Luther taught me. That's my error. Luther taught me. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to play this Kehlani record because it's unlike any Kehlani record I've ever heard, man. One that's day, not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. You've never listened, lot, to, lot, you've like never listened to Kehlani then. <laughs> I could play you seven songs that sound just like this. I don't think you could. We're not going to do it right now. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> What I, I mean by this is... I'm a long time Kehlani fan. Girl, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> long time. Long time. Like, how long she been out? Four years? Like, <laughs> yeah, she's been oh, yeah. out for a year. Oh, y'all just, y'all just getting on Kehlani? Time. On the Kehlani wave? Nah, I discovered her in high school. Yeah. Because Kehlani, <laughs> Kehlani, I, I fuck with her. Kehlani. She be making that, that L.A. bop type shit which She's is great the bay. Yeah. this record right here <laughs> I have never heard Kehlani enunciate words this way <laughs> drag out words this way she oh. really wants us to know how much of a piece of shit YG is but she's hiding behind the thin veil of I'm not telling you guys who I'm talking yeah. about <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta hear her tear apart her mother in the same bag wait what's wrong with that uh, the letter, I want to say it's called. She yeah. tore her mother apart. Rory put me on. <laughs> she tore her mom like, why? Hell yeah. But why? it's fine. No, why? <laughs> oh, I guess her mother abandoned her and all that, but she tore her apart. <laughs> um, <laughs> and all that. <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what comes with abandoning hey, a kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to play this record you get, here. You get this back. Oh, when they got to make amends with themselves? They always be lying. Yeah, we got to stop that right there. Stop. Let me hit a gunshot, man. <laughs> oh, oh. Yo, why does every chick go to that bag? I took a risk liking you. <laughs> Somebody answer it. <laughs> I don't have Y'all never that experienced one. that? Yeah, yes. Sure. I have a lot. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. I heard so much about you and I man. ignored it. Bitch, and, I took a risk. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you was the slide. Yeah, we, that's, that's part <laughs> yeah. of it, taking a risk. I took a risk loving the slide. Yeah. <laughs> Stop right there. See? Stop right there. <laughs> Ignore all the signs. Yeah, I should have ignored the signs when my friend said, yo, yeah, I heard that shit was fire. <laughs> yeah, I heard that shit was fire. <laughs> like... Yeah, Imagine I the homies ag- yelling that when you bring her to the block. Y'all heard that shit was fire. Yo, yeah, fan, I ignored girl. the signs too. <laughs> I'm talking about my girl like that, my nigga. 
I but wait, and she said it to me, I defended you proudly. Ma, I never asked for that. <laughs> right. Like, you did that on your own will. Word. <laughs> it's fun. She being mature now. She ain't gonna make stop, it known. Stop, 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 stop. This was released three days after Valentine's Day. After the day <laughs> she said that they broke up. That was the immature me three days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nah. You, you somebody, explain, somebody explain the woman's brain to me. <laughs> Good we, luck. We buddy. don't got enough time. Bro. You was immature three days ago? Really, Mom? Apparently. No, I have it all figured out now. I see life totally differently after 36 hours. <laughs> the fucked up part is she's smoking this shit. <laughs> oh, no, this song is great. And she stepped on that nigga single. <laughs> no, they're single. Featuring her. <laughs> yeah, we're Ste- Stepped on her own publishing. Chicks don't care what they step on when they're in a rage. Of co- oh, my like, God. They don't, they don't care what they ruin. Oh, yeah. You know how many, you many laptops I've gone through? <laughs> that's how, that's how Wait, all... that, that other record is her single. No, it ain't. No, nah, I think it's YG. That's YG's single. Is it? Featuring her. Oh, no, they did that little Ann thing when we don't know. Uh, I told you it was seventy ninety nine. <laughs> but it says album K2. Isn't that her album? Yeah. That's her, yeah, that's her single. That's her record. All right, so I, that, that's why I'm mad. Why you did me wrong and no. I put you on my album? No, it's the, this the, is <laughs> the two-pack. Oh, <laughs> mm, got you. <laughs> the bundle. Yo. You're, you're, you're telling us who he is, Kalani. <laughs> you're snitching. Oh, I'm the bigger person. Hey, when they go low, you go high. Uh, oh, oh all brother. Right, all right. Oh, it was her intuition. All right, all right, they no. love paying tuition, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you was crazy, Ma. You was crazy. Well, first of all, Scroll after, up screen, man. After you guys announced your relationship, and then YG was caught right kissing that girl on the red car outside of the award show, and then you stayed there, it was like, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, he thought that's where the lines were. <laughs> that's, 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 the, that's in play? That's the vibration. <laughs> yeah, that's what he thought. So I don't understand that part in this song. I thought they was out there freaking off. Yeah. No, apparently not. Let's go back to the table. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's a famous one right there. Hmm, you intuitive, that. All right. Use me for status and the fame and recognition. I feel like YG might be a big <laughs> artist. No? Am I wrong in that? I, I just feel like it. No, that's what it feels like. That's, that's, that's your intuition. That's what it feels like. Yeah. I just paid my tuition, dog, and they said YG is a bigger artist than KC. I'm just saying. Fox is bigger. YG. Rory. YG. Scream it. Hey, but wait, though, that's not fair, though. That's some male misogynistic shit we're doing. No, Fu- Kaylani is Fu- big. Fu- too. Future is bigger than Lori Harvey, but I think that he's using her <laughs> for but fame and status and recognition. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. That's fair. That's fair. Kaylani gave that nigga a little, little bump. She definitely helped change his image. She definitely helped change his image, for sure. Fa- they've been dating for a week. <laughs> That's how fast That's the happened. other part I'm confused about. Where I'm so glad you said that. That's how fast I it happened. I am so confused about that. All a girl got to do is tell you she cut said, your hair a certain guys, way. We are falling victim to the two-pack. This marketing plan is working perfectly. Mm. Like They're they, killing us right they now. They were together for four months. How is she feeling all this oh, shit? You know once a girl tell you how to wear your pants and what type of haircut to get, she changed you. She made you. Yeah, she made you who you are today. <laughs> you wasn't getting that haircut four months ago. Party, party gonna try and double back now. Yo, I told you, <laughs> man's. <laughs> All right, no, I'm not doing that. Yo, I told you, <laughs> man's told you. And you were shitting on me because I made you try to kill yourself. Look what that nigga did. <laughs> Fam. <laughs> oh, you don't even deserve recognition from me. <laughs> Give yourself credit. All right. Yeah. Yo, yo, bitch. Hey, you got to give yourself credit. Yo, bitch. <laughs> Girls love to give themselves a little credit, right? 
I gotta give myself credit. I gotta credit. give myself oh, credit. But wait, did you hear for loving as hard as I did? No, did you see the second line? No, no, I, no, no. I want to hear it before you say it. You know how long it takes to fight an addiction? It's not a week. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted by this. <laughs> I told you women start counting. She is telling a right, gang. Man. She is telling a gang member. <laughs> yeah, that she changed, allegedly, allegedly, that he ain't experienced shit before her, and she changed his entire life. Mm-hmm. He goes in the shootouts <laughs> and survived. <laughs> yeah, I thought he'd come on top of this Kalani thing. Yeah, yeah. I so, so, sorry. I thought this was a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> mad regrets mad regrets let's stop lying in the songs you have mad regrets it was regrets in the first verse yeah, in the first <laughs> bar you loved it in him I said, I, you know what I mean I took a chance Did you regret taking that took, chance I took a chance <laughs> she's a shame it's okay so I wrote a record about you <laughs> She sounds great, though. This song is great. No, this song, no, she's this great. Song, <laughs> no, this, no, this, this song, song is, is awesome. fire. Don't get it twisted. Damn. Mm, yesterday. Damn. <laughs> she's been lost since that damn, day. Damn, she's been lost since that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. She never found since, herself from that day? Since 12 hours ago. And Mondays are rough, though. <laughs> it's tough to find yourself from a Monday. <laughs> she had a case of the Mondays? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if she knows that she is giving him recognition. Yeah. Well, yeah, the whole, course. the whole, the fact that you're nothing to me and you don't deserve this, except you gave me a four minute fire record. <laughs> almost five minutes. I, I must it, mean yeah, something. Yeah, almost. It's record is yeah. fire, fire. I love you, Kalani. <laughs> yeah. K two. When is that coming out? Yeah. If she doing this, if she doing this on there, lying on dudes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm all for that. Yeah. If she lying on. Niggas. Now, now I think jam. about it, all, mu- that. all music that lies is pretty fire. That's, that's my bag. That's a fact. Music that's lying Men about and somebody. women lying about each other from R&B to rap. Just lie, bro. Big if facts. it sounds good, Big facts. just lie. It's okay. Yeah, if it sounds good, it's okay. Wait, what is she doing on the second half of this record? I feel like the points have been driven home at 233. Well, you've given us four choruses in one verse. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I got to make the beat go underwater now. <laughs> nah, fuck that. I'm really hurt. Because I'm drowning. Nah, yeah, I'm hitting you with some Drake on the end of this. I can believe that you heard me. How could you have done that to me? No, you have to say, they promised to stay. This line is the greatest line in the whole what? record. Then also, wait, 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 wait. I also wish. <laughs> Guess who else wishes? We you didn't, all wish it. You didn't check my text. <laughs> I also share Yo, that same sentiment I will with you. never understand why they do that. Yeah, I wish. Because after I they do it, it, they do wish they didn't do that. Why do it? But I told you, bum ass, <laughs> not to do that four months ago when we started. Right. And you know why G be getting hammer drunk. Oh, my God. You know he hammer be getting drunk. <laughs> you know why G's a drunkie. A <laughs> drunkie. Hammered. Damn. I wish I didn't check your text. She, she is thrilled that she Guess checked what? text. Guess who else wishes uh, that? She is Yo, let, about me, it. let me tell you, as someone who's an alcoholic and has had plenty of women go through their phone when they was drunk, a hangover is bad as is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't but, do this to me. But when it starts with something being thrown at your cheekbone, mm-hmm. oh my god, different. What but a again, shitty day. <laughs> to, to to Rory's point, like women just look at it like we want to go on your phone, we want to see what you're doing, we want to find out what you're keeping from us. Like the man's brain, when it go deep, get to oh, I can't be at home where I pay bills and feel safe and just put my phone down. Mm-mm. <laughs> No. Like that violation is is great. Women never quite view it through that lens. No. Why? I don't know. Because they'll say, well, what you did was a violation. Well, it's to our point last week about uh, chicks don't care that we pay the rent. No. <laughs> Give a fuck. 
though, on your phone. Though, though it's a standard. I don't, I, your phone. I, don't, I don't want you to sleep comfortably. <laughs> I'm looking through your phone to see what you did at 4 p.m. <laughs> Give a fuck how these bills get paid. I ain't going to pay them, but fuck. Let's take it, dear. <laughs> fuck it. We wildin'. They were factoring like the million times they go through your phone and didn't find anything? No. No. Don't give me credit for that. No. No, you never even heard about that. Your phone was just back in the same place. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. That's sad. I am going to live happily ever after with the bitch, by the way. <laughs> I've been, if you checked my text, I've been thinking about this for quite some time. Yeah, you saw my text. You seen her. I said, I love her. <laughs> I love her. Like, here you come ruining some shit. She getting her shit off. Hope you fucking around and have the son you wanted with Look how baby. salty she sound though. Y'all might be soulmates after all of this. So out on the table, your friends and your family, even your label, everyone love me. Damn, it's so shameful. I kept you stable. You should be grateful. I ain't find out sooner that you was unfaithful. Damn, <clears throat> you so shameful. So fucking shameful. Well, that hold on. That's a contradiction to all. You said your love was so pure at the top, right? And then said at the outro, y'all might be soulmates after this. And then complete, continued to shit on me. But mm-hmm. if your love was so pure and that was my soulmate, you mm-hmm. would have no problem with me leaving and going with my soulmate. Because mm-hmm. your love is so pure and you were so proud of your fucking love. Mm. That's what, Are you on the post with that that's boy? That's what I'm <laughs> saying. I didn't even know where I had a post game. <laughs> 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 you didn't I give him one gunshot. I've never seen him in a post before. Jesus. Like, right. how does that make any sense? Don't brag about your love and then when you say that's your soulmate, you're mad. That's that's my issue that I was talking about when I said like if if we truly love each other, mm-hmm. wouldn't you want me to be happy with my side in spite of how you feel about it? Unconditional love. You should write an album. Love, about that. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, love to a lot of people is a pick and choose buffet, if you will, and they want to take the things that benefit them, as people do, and don't look at the definition of what love is. Gunshots, please. Got you. What exactly did you eat before the game? <laughs> eat what was your every, routine? Yeah. What was your warm up? Be- eat that before every game. Yeah, what's going on at home? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys have any parting words for Kaylani? It's a great record. Keep making music like this. Yeah. Oh, God, Kaylani. This, this song is, is fire. Record. This is an amazing record. You killed this shit. And YG, I mean. If she gets back with you, leave, keep, leave you. Don't put a password on your phone if this is what's going to result from it. Because yeah, this drunk. was great for us. Yeah. Oh, that's what you're saying to YG? <laughs> like, YG, now you got them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where they at? Why? <laughs> where, they, I mean, <laughs> where they at? Why? In, in, his, in his phone, apparently. <laughs> YG is too gangster to have let her go on in his phone while he was drunk sleep. No, that's exactly what that's you exactly do. That's exactly how it yeah. happens. You should be able to get drunk drunk sleep at home. And don't think that she wasn't watching him get drunk and plotting that the whole night. Mm-hmm. That's wild. Man. Funny shit is I know the chick that she she peeved about got tats, too. <laughs> she got tats, too. Oh, she yeah. got a little SoundCloud page, maybe. Oh. What? Damn. Yeah. So that's do- why she mad. You don't know she mad until you get to the end. I, y'all might be soulmates. I don't know. Hope y'all happy. Nah. <laughs> Nah, you said, you said that for a reason. Yeah, nah. You don't hope I'm happy. Matter of fact, I was you, happy. Matter of fact, you even you even kind of peeped our vibe in the text and said, "Yeah, Yo. yeah." Y'all might like, got some. <laughs> you guys have been really you good even together. Peeped the, you peeped the chemistry in the text. That's exactly what it was. That's what did it. That's it it was. wasn't the name. I got her stored as bitch. I love the most. Right. That didn't tell you nothing. Right. <laughs> right. I got her stored. Hey, I like this bitch right here better than my bitch. Right. That, 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 Told that told you nothing. You kept digging. That's exactly what it was. I got her stored as damn. We have man more in common than. <laughs> Look at Rory. You just keep laughing. You get fucked up. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta go home, Rory. Yeah, that's one thing about hey, it. Hey, you can't pull up for the logo Imagine. all game. Yeah, yeah. You gotta step to the actual line at some point. That's a fact. Imagine typing that into the context. For real, because bitches always go further than they need to to find what they need to find. Like, I told you I'm having a blast. Here you go. I want to scroll back to 70 weeks mm-hmm. in our text. Yeah. I don't know what I told her 70 weeks ago. For real. That'd be the crazy. Oh. Like, what I said. Like, you yeah, don't remember the shit tell, said? Oh, you don't know? Yeah. Tell me. Yeah. I don't know what I said. The fuck? It was three wasting, months ago. Wasting valuable makeup a lie time. For real. Without knowing what you know. <laughs> and, and, knowing. and this goes back to my point that I'm going to make when my life is in a better place. Sometimes... Relationships are better when the guy's 
being a piece of shit. Mm. <laughs> this kid is just pulling out all the stuff. <laughs> just saying. Like sometimes Listen. it's it's better for both of us. Yo, if were I, you in the three point shootout? If too? I can, yo, if I can just he's, go be he's, myself. He's the dude from Washington. What's the old boy name? Bertans. <laughs> you Bertans going if, off. If I can just be who I am, I promise you it'll be better for both of us. And not to be toxic right now. This is not, <laughs> not to be oh, toxic not, not right now. <laughs> not to be toxic right now. Right now. But Kaylani has has struggled with mental health in the past, right? Yes, she has. So before she puts this song out, I need to know what YG did for her mental health. Because sometimes that's a trade dudes feel like they can make. Like, all right, I saved your sanity. I can fuck her. Mm. Okay. Well, she's saying the opposite, that she saved him. Yeah, that's what she's saying. Okay. But that's always the... Fam, the I, yeah. I, I love women, so I can't say anything right here. But we know... <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I feel you. Sometimes you ain't got to say nothing, Joe. I'm right there. Yeah, I'm, uh, Kyrie, some, some, Kyrie wasn't so bad, huh? <laughs> Why you hit it right at this time too? Look at the timing. <laughs> Look at when music in his bag. Kyrie wasn't so bad. <laughs> Cause they never know what they traded for. Yeah, like, oh, man, no. Kyrie somewhere like, oh, oh. <laughs> like, uh, Kyrie like ah, gangsters, huh? Go ahead, go ahead it's still game. athletes, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh. All right, all right. Enough, 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 enough. Holy oh wait, we about to get in this shit. Yeah, wait, no, no, hold on, no. hold on. You never My heard bad. the last minute of this record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Go ahead, music. Um, Maul. What's up? <laughs> What y'all laughing at? <laughs> Transition funny. is hilarious. <laughs> I believe more. Maul. I believe more. Okay. I don't want to problems. Mm-hmm. I believe all of you, mm. actually. Okay. Prefacing so. everything with that. Maul. What's up? Who was the ex for you? <laughs> the only one? Are you, t- are you <laughs> tying in your uh, Viacom deals to your... <laughs> tying in idiots. <laughs> Hashtag your ex. Send us your tweets. <laughs> <laughs> I see the marketing Joe trying to do. <laughs> Who's that one that just can't, you can't get away from? I've got away from Mo. <laughs> Mo has ran from every single one of them. I've gotten far, I've gotten far away. Yeah, yeah where I always speak them. Hey, Scream Man, get this shit the fuck off the screen. <laughs> no, that's exactly what I was looking at. Now he heard X, now he heard X and he transitioned. Nah, I see where he's going nah. with it. I see where he's going with it. No, do you, no, you ain't got nah, that. I got away. That from. one that nah. remains special to you through all of your future relationships. That remains special. No, yes. I, I mean, I care about if I've ever dated a woman. I've never ended on <laughs> like Good really like bad it. terms with women I've dated though. So it's not, it's not like it's hate there. Like we can't. I've ended on really bad terms, but I still which have... which also is my reason of why I don't think you've ever been in love either. Why? Because everything has ended on good terms. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's no, sick. sometimes that's how it goes. No, it's no, it no it ain't. <laughs> you didn't no, just hear that go, Kehlani not record? Shit. No, Did you go. not hear Kehlani? Not, 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 the, not, not the, the good shit. That, 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 was, that was problematic from The good shit makes you make R&B songs. Have yeah, you ever heard problem. Janet Jackson, That's the Way Love Goes? Yes, I have. It was not amicable. <laughs> <laughs> no, not all the time, but uh, it's n- never. It's nev- nah, never. Real love is nah, really not. Never. It's not. Real love is in bad. And if it is, it ain't until two and a half years later. Yeah, after like, like multiple yo. breakups, then yeah. you can have that. I've had a bunch of breakup. situationships that have ended great. Like we still friends, we kick it, everything's oh, sure. cool. You got your shit. Well, no, but that's shit. what it was for me. We had broken up. I'm talking about love. Times. <laughs> oh, if you break up a thousand times, yeah, then, yeah the last one could be good. Yeah, that's but, what it was for me. We yeah, had okay. broken up a bunch of times. Yeah, we was wilding at X Bar that night, girl. <laughs> X Bar, <laughs> girl. I don't, I don't know. If, it's, if I was X Bar, I was definitely wilding that night. All first to women is girl. Like it's real girl. Girl, I was wilding. Girl <laughs> What's up Parks and Rory Who's that person for you guys Did you just hear me Give it up on this last segment You think I'm giving it up On this one <laughs> Yeah no you took, ne- you took the last segment To the next level I'm not oh, That just leaves you Parks That's cool I don't really have no The, the X I'm cool with all my exes though. You heard Rem I'm cool mm. with all my exes Rem got allergies All of a sudden over there <laughs> <laughs> Should try to clear the, her throat The mm. home allergy mm. <laughs> That's a the weird home alarm. allergy. Yo, I'm allergic to my house. Yeah, I'm allergic to my home. <laughs> yeah. You gotta hum your way through it. <laughs> but this, this is my question. 
Whoever did, whoever, and I'm not trying to do a Viacom to, to you are, hybrid cool, man. No, matchup. I understand contracts. I I know. Know. Ooh, <laughs> look at your industry. Hybrid. You've been, you been in some offices. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in some offices. I know, I know that word. some words. <laughs> Hybrid marketing. Here we go. I'm, I'm, done. I'm done. No, I'm no, go ahead. I don't remember what I was saying. You were talking you, about uh, VX. Yeah, but I was talking about the guy's version of that. Oh, well, no. Like, what I, we I'll, think I'll and what the, they think is just Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll speak now, to this VX situation. The dude would be like the one that you dated for three days. I was about to say the funny shit. The funny is, shit is the chick that got away from me is like homegirl a month and a half ago that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that didn't text back. What the fuck is Diana doing? <laughs> yeah. You talk about 12 years ago. Oh, I'm in trouble. God. I say a name on this podcast. And there's a whole crew of people that go see if I follow somebody by that name. Oh, for sure. That's, I, I'm, that's new the to, oldest, I'm new to that. I didn't know. That's the I didn't know. in the book. I didn't, I, yeah, yeah. That, that's a mad normal name, Diana. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Until you follow one. Until, and then yeah. they lock right, right in. Wait, wait, wait. wait. And, and until they find. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Oh yeah, I, I wasn't days. sure if uh, if y'all saw the the shots that Rex sent back to uh, back to us. Wait, I did. wait, wait, wait. Let me turn. Wait, wait, wait. Let me turn Johnny Gill. Oh, you wait, just, wait, just wait, 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 wait. He sent shots I'm back. I'm turning Johnny Gill. That shot back that he took. I'm turning Johnny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, what the fuck? What Yo, the Rex, fuck you, you should have sent that shot back. <laughs> my guy, my guy, Rex is on uh, the CC show on live, and CC was like, "Yo, but who's that girl you was with?" He's like. That's honey dip. I was like, ooh, that's the subtle shot. And then he Rory. moved on. I was like, whoa, shit. Rory. 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 He's got a point. Rory. He's got a point. If there's one thing I can promise you. Rory. 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 Hey, Rory, Rory and Park. Go look at the hey. CC show. Don't hey. look at me. I'm Rory. the messenger. Hey, shout out to CC. Glad you just yeah. came home. Rory, <laughs> it, the, the, the honey dip we be talking about <laughs> was just in Bahamas <laughs> or something. She wasn't in that little cramped up room. She wasn't in that little room oh, with that little TV with, with, with the Jordans up in the air. With the, yeah, no. She just wasn't there. You don't no, think so? I know so. Yeah, no. I know so. Let's pray. <laughs> she wasn't there. She yeah, got you no. whipped? Two different honey dips. Yeah. She got you whipped. I mean, how you dip your honey is how you dip it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that can't be on us. I thought he said something else. I fuck with Rex, but come on. That was flagrant. No, nah, that's my that's that my was nigga. flagrant. I fuck with. He, he know that was flagrant. He, he can't. He can't. He can't do it. I don't know if he knows that flagrant. He knows. You gotta laugh at it though. What you gonna do about it, like Rory? That's how you feel. Mmm, <laughs> dip dip. Rory's iTunes is too equipped for me. <laughs> <laughs> His array of music. Yeah, yeah, he got mad shit in there. This is a record. Anyway, Mo, who you who you chasing now on Instagram? <laughs> you gonna give it up on here? He's not gonna give it up. On Maybe. Here. Nah, she got five hundred followers. He's gonna tell me. I just was trying to unfollow like four hundred people. I tried to quadruple tap somebody the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it won't. Right, no more. Nah. More hearts. You need to see. I like this more than them niggas. Oh. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike it and like it again. Yeah, <laughs> man. What you want me to do, man? I'm out of here. Um. All right, five year anniversary, five year anniversary. It's our do 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 doom 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 do do. It's our a. Hey. Um. All right, you guys. Look at Rory pulling out his little phone, man. Cry, nigga. <laughs> why? This why guy will you, not get emotional. Get emotional How y'all feel, I, man? How you I, feeling I, about I, our I, five year anniversary, I, I, man? I feel pretty. Let me get the man. round of applause for Roars, man. <laughs> why do I get a round of applause? It's, it's a group effort. No, nah, no, it's not. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Savon liked my post. Thanks, Savon. It started on 46th Street. In a brownstone. <laughs> <laughs> it was 54th, by the way. Oh, whatever street it was. I'm glad we're not there no more. Same. They tried to take our post. It was just three friends at first. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rory, get your bag. Yeah, you know, it was a game night. <laughs> <laughs> it was a game night You know you had to bring some liquor There was some microphones Tell the audience how you guys are feeling With our five year anniversary being right here uh, Time flew by Five years does not seem like Accurate number but here we are It's accurate Parks I know I know. I saw the tweets <laughs> Five years All started as a twinkle in the eye <laughs> It actually all started at New York All Star Weekend <laughs> A twinkle in the eye. <laughs> was that was that New York all time? It was. It started you and I at Griffin. Mm. <laughs> Look, yo, I got this idea <laughs> at Griffin. Well, so let's go to Lavo this Sunday. 
Why you want to go to Lavo Sunday? I've never been to Lavo, and I'm tired of all the cool kids saying, yo, Lavo this Sunday. I want to see what the fuss is. I've been there. Vern, it's cool. Vern said the bottles are 1100 That's life but, That's but, life for you. Well, Spanish niggas always feel like they have to buy bottles everywhere they go. I've not, I never subscribed to that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not the bottle. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But come on, let's go. Yeah, we can do it. Do it. Can you come out? Come on, let's yeah, celebrate. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, let's celebrate. We got to. Celebrate something. Yeah, we, haven't, we haven't hung out as, as a pod in a while. That is true. It's because I'm scared y'all was going to jump me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Some of you may know. Oh, wait. Spot out, shout out to our Spotify listenership, our YouTube viewership. <laughs> shout out to our first and last time listeners. Salute to y'all. Shout out to everybody listening from work. Shout out to everybody listening from home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, as some of you may know, this is our five-year anniversary. Hold up, bitch. No, that's too low. That was, was way that? too low. Oh, Jesus. That was that's still too low. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's like Hold a on. six-month anniversary. <laughs> BRB. <laughs> Here we go. It's our five-year anniversary. Much has changed. <laughs> so much. Much has, has not. Much has changed out there in the landscape. So we much. got rid of that word in 2022, right? Landscape. Yeah, it's yeah we go. did. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. What do we use to describe it now? The Cl- landscape. Climate? We get rid of climate, no, too? No, climate climate's is, gotta go. Climate's gone. Yeah. Damn it. Climate makes you sound smart sometimes. <laughs> the scope. The scope. The terrain. The scope might not be a I bad I fuck with one. terrain. I like terrain. It's a nice flip. Let's, let's do terrain in 2020. <laughs> if you look terrain. at rap's terrain right now. Rap's I like that. terrain. I like that. <laughs> rap's terrain. <laughs> Um, you guys wanna you guys wanna go on this go on this fantastic voyage with me? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're so corny. Men men really don't know how to get. We're not good at this. Not at all. We're not good at this at all. Like, Look nah, at men. Here's the thing, y'all. Fuck with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on, t- t- at least tell me about some of the pivotal times that have occurred in this well, podcast. Y'all, well, y'all two while, start because I came a year later, so y'all have to go from the very beginning. Oh, you came and made it hot. Don't try to get the fuck out of here. No, I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Y'all start because what y'all was doing was different. No, I wasn't there from day one. Like, you know, exactly to February 18th, 2015. I wasn't there. I came a year later. Uh, I believe it was overcast. It might have been in the mid 40s. Yeah, 46th uh, Street. I, I if I remember. It was a dark and gloomy. Oh, no, no, night. it was 54th Street. I meant the oh. temperature. Oh, okay. Right next to Studio 54, if you can find the connection there. Oh, mm. man. Destined. Destined for legendary it was, as shit. moment I saw Studio 54 I knew it was destined Yeah You guys If you haven't been able to tell Rory is gonna joke Through this whole thing Oh for so sure So which one of you Can actually tap no, well, into the mushy No y'all have to take it From oh, I have the to beginning do it. Take it from the beginning <laughs> Alright guys Take it from the beginning I, I remember really... those early mornings Before the, <laughs> we did all the All of Law sessions I would come meet you guys At 54th Street And fall asleep on the couch For a minute Listen man I used to I used to take my lunch breaks I'd always Pretend I had a meeting an hour before or after. I put a fake calendar invite to nobody just so no one could book me at that time. I'd take a lunch break. I'd run up to 54th Street, talk some shit, maybe even drink a little on the job, and run right back to my job. Moonlighting. Because <laughs> the podcast was quicker back then, huh? Much quicker. Yeah, you much, much be quicker. like an hour, right? Yeah, we tried to not go over an hour and a half at that time. Uh. Actually, that's what I would like to talk about. I'd like to talk about, for me, because this is one of the most commonly asked questions when I'm outside. Uh, for the other podcasters out there, and shout out to the other podcasters out there, by the way, I uh, understand what that terrain is like. <laughs> for the creators. It's a rough, it's a rough terrain. <laughs> for the creators. For the creator We're getting terrain. there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, one of the most commonly asked questions, t- to me anyway, is uh, because a lot of the pad- podcasters struggle with feeling stagnant uh, and feeling like, all right, how do I grow this thing? And we were there too. So I, I like to give them the moments in the podcast that I think were pivotal into making it what it is uh, today. Uh, what's the first first moment like that for you, Rory? Uh, honestly, the SOB show. And I don't know when that was. Really? In the, in the, I'll tell you why. Of course, there, there's always Twitter and people I could see them responding. And we're being consistent at that time. But... When we got to SOBs and you and I had that idea, like, yo, maybe we should just try to do a live joint. And you were like, and and do what? I'll be honest. That sounded like the craziest idea. Oh, no. You, I, had to <laughs> I guess that's why. You, that's, I had to beg you to do that. That's why that's pivotal. Yeah, that is pivotal. Um, And then seeing people like respond to I, us sitting there talking. I couldn't and, like, grasp that concept, though. Yeah, it was weird. It's a first. weird one. What, it's year, still what, a weird year, one. what year was that? 
I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have trouble one. grasping it now. It's still a weird one. Oh, I'll say that after, before every show. I say, y'all, I cannot believe that there are so many people out there waiting for us to sit down and talk. But where, where it was, you know the same way we talk about now, it's like one big inside joke and all that shit? Mm. That's why SOBs was such a pivotal moment to me then. Because it's even more intimate, and you can literally hear everything everyone's saying. It's not like some of these theaters we do now, where you can't hear the people. It just sounds like noise. I bombed that show. Oh, it was a horrible show. We all did horrible. <laughs> did really, really bad. Um, I specifically bombed at that show. <laughs> well, you you try to do the story thing. I saw what you was trying to do. I missed. I misjudged our audience at the time. Yeah, but the way they were responding with things specific to the podcast, I was like, oh, this is a thing. Like. This is part of people's lives. Mm. That's why SOBs was so pivotal to me. I was like, this is really like, they wake up, this is their daily, what we used to think AM radio was, or what we maybe would think serious with Howard was. This is something that's mm-hmm. really part of their morning. Right. So, to me, that was a really pivotal moment. I was just telling um, Brandon, who has his own podcast, shout out to Grassroots Podcast, I was just telling Brandon the other day that as a creative... You just never know what works, and you just have to try shit. Or maybe that was somebody at the pull-up. I think we were talking about it briefly, too. We were talking about the uh, band, comparing it to a band. Like the uh, yeah. different personalities you need to have a, make a band work, or a group of any sort, really. And for me, that story always, or that thought always leads me to uh, when I leaked that, that Drake clip of me talking about, all the way to DC, all the way, I have many Adderalls I was on. <laughs> At the time, but which was going to get to my next thing on Adderall with live shows, but continue. <laughs> um, what am I saying? Oh, the that clip. that was uh, that was me coming to y'all saying, "All right, all right, you guys, we need to just start promoting shit, and we can't afford a video guy, so somebody <laughs> just take the phone and video." <laughs> so. So we took, I, took the phone and videoed. I don't know who was videoing. I, we might have just sat it somewhere. I, it might have been me holding your phone. But I'm in the bed the next morning. And I'm like, you know what, man? Let me see how these little clippy things work. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. I'm going to snitch on that episode that changed this whole podcast. We recorded in an episode about views. Joe put that clip out right away. And the response was so insane that Joe called me and said, we have to do a new episode. Because that episode was trash on this Views take, and we got to do a real one. And I was like, bet. I think it was my birthday. I think I left my job yeah, on my birthday. It was my birthday, and we couldn't even record at 54th Street. We went to Total for the closed. first time. <laughs> and we had to redo that Views thing. Not to change any takes. It was just a bad episode. Mm. That's all it was. Yeah, I don't think people realize that that clip that you see, Joe, is not that actual episode. <laughs> yeah, then there's that part. But I'm just saying, I didn't think that clip would take off that way. You just never know what will catch fire or what won't catch fire. That was a real yep. pivotal moment. Oh, huge. Uh, Madi leaving, Maul coming on. Still, we've never asked Maul to be a permanent member here. <laughs> he just keeps coming. <laughs> he's only, shows he's up. only Before, by, by contract, I guess. <laughs> Before you got there, I did want to talk about the South By show. The South By Get, show? Getting you to go to South By was another task in itself which was a task in all of ourselves. Uh, I think, who did we, Steph hooked me up with, oh, I forgot his name, he's a good dude now. Uh, God, I forgot his name, whatever. Um, we did that shit in Austin, Texas, and went out there for the weekend and had the worst time of our lives to the best time of our lives. And I did a show on so much Adderall, I think it was the most Adderall I've ever taken in my entire life. And we bombed again. <laughs> we bombed again. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Oh my God, we bombed again. That was a big, we bombed a few shows. Oh, did we? Remember that dude uh, passed out drunk in the middle of the show? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then us as a crowd and podcast took a picture with him passed out? I think I have that on my Instagram somewhere. Well, I'm glad the shows have improved. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Um, yeah, Maul, you, your arrival was big. Pause. Um, okay, I'll, I'll accept that. I think it, it was, for me it was... Um, you came and spiced things up. I don't know. I wouldn't say spice. I think that it was just a dynamic that was already there with uh, you and I, and then um, I think that kind of just translated well, audio. Uh, you know, audio. That makes it hard to fire you because I don't have another friend like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, it didn't. I think with Rory, it just uh, I understand Rory's uh, the generation gap. Like we have ten, eleven years on Rory, but 
guys like Rory are necessary because he represents that generation after us. So to me coming in, it it, it, it was a comfortable Sorry, fit. Sorry, my generation. <laughs> no, it was a comfortable fit only because I respect, you know, I, I was in, we were in his shoes. You know, like I said uh, before, I used to have to sneak to listen to Snoop and artists like that because my mom didn't understand it, but my mom was a fan of LL and Big Daddy Kane and... Mm. By that age, I was like, I'm not listening to that. You know, I wanted to hear the gangster shit. You want to focus, take a minute to focus on the rappers your mom was a fan of? No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but um, L. and Kane. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you know how that go. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, the fit, the fit to me was natural. Um, and it for us, it started as our weekly. To me, it felt like let's just come in here and just talk about what guys talk about, and let's just put it out there. And if people love it, they love it. If not. Whatever. At least we got some shit off our chest. But then I think at, at I think I want to say the 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 Highline Ballroom Live show. I think well for me definitely that's when I knew that this was something different. Mm. Um, pulling up to Highline and seeing the line around the corner. When was that for the people that don't know? Uh, it had been seventeen. Maybe. It was two thousand seventeen for sure. Yeah. I can't. I, I'll have to go through my Instagram and look at the exact day. But um, for me that was the moment of oh shit. Like, I don't, this is something real. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, when you get to see the people, like, to, you know, you can sit down and record and see numbers on a streaming platform. Like, oh, shit, people are clicking. Right. But when you show up to a, a place and they're out there and then they feel like they know your story, they know you and they share, which it's like, oh, people are really subscribing to this. And that's when, for me, it hit like, this is something that means something to the culture. Yeah. Highline Ballroom 2017, our highest paid show at ten thousand mm. dollars. Yeah, I'll be honest. I really well, I think I, door I, splits. I hate touring. What'd you say? I think just with door splits, like yeah, it word. wasn't a fee. <laughs> yeah, hey, if, if you sell out, <laughs> yeah, no, if you sell out, no, something for no you. one had a guarantee for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, just as somebody who hates touring and couldn't under, couldn't grasp the concept of just speaking in front of people. I'll, I'll be honest. My conversations with Ian behind the scenes like, "Fam, how many more times you want me to do this?" Mm -hmm. And a part of me felt like y'all, y'all. A part of me felt like I didn't want to rob y'all of the experience of performing in front of that type of crowd because I'm jaded. Mm -hmm. So I rolled. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just gotta roll too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. I mean, I think those live shows kind of spoke to why this podcast comes off so authentic because Maul and I and you to some degree so much at that time even though you did the Hot 97 thing we're not broadcasters we're not media personalities like we didn't come from that background and then just adapted to the podcast we adapted to this entire genre kind of on we, kind of on the fly yeah, like, like we grew Maul and I had never spoke in front of any when I walked on that stage at SOBs that was the first time I'd spoke in front of people period hmm. Hmm. and then your next show is Highline and then from there you're doing a tour in theaters like yeah. I think the, the it's some learning on the fly shit. Yeah, but that's to me that's the uh, that's the beautiful part. That's about what it. podcasting is to yeah. me though. Like yeah. you grow with mm. it, you grow with the platform, you grow with the people, you grow with your audience. And to me, like like I said, that Highline Ballroom show to me was when it clicked. Like okay, this is this is real. And then you know, looking back to I think the the second time I felt like that I think was in Atlanta when we walked on stage at the Tabernacle. That was ridiculous. The, no, that show was insane. The stage was literally that show was shaking. Insane. Yeah, when we walked out, and Atlanta, I, I Atlanta had, felt real good. Yeah, I yeah, had that was one of my favorite shows. No that, shit that in like Dallas, that I think, were my that, two favorites. Yeah, that was that to me. That was like the show where it was like, oh shit, <laughs> like this is real. That show like, was huge. There was yeah, a lot of like, just people I, on the sides. Yeah, but <laughs> well, before you get to all of it's real because there's a lot of it's real moments. Let's mm -hmm. let's let's go back and because the Highline show at that time. If that's not the benchmark, somewhere around that time, we started to have conversations about, okay, how long can we continue to do this for free? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think that's real important to get mm -hmm. into. Can any of y'all speak to that? Yeah, it was uh, one of my favorite Fonte lines. My press was much bigger than my sound scan. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. we were looked at starting to become a real legitimate podcast, not just in the quote-unquote urban space, like... If you looked at those numbers, we were doing real numbers, mm -hmm. but all we were doing was spending money mm -hmm. and losing money. Mm -hmm. So it kind of got to like, like, yeah, I love that we're doing this and let, let's do it for the culture and all those cool words that we love to use and actually believe and really stand for. 
but it was like, all right, like I, we got to do something here. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be running in circles. Well, I think if, if, if we miss the window of the money, that still happens. <laughs> but um, that, before you before you start, more, oh, you guys, when I'm when I'm just so you know, when I'm bored, sometimes I go back to see what each of us would have made had we taken some of those deals. <laughs> <laughs> I do, for real. And I thank God. I think that's a natural thing to do, though. I think you have to do like, that. Gee, I, because it, because so. it also it also lets you know that you know sometimes you have to say no. Like it's Hell okay man. to say no, and then you look back at shit you said no to, and you you're reminded like, okay, yeah, I'm, we'll we'll be fine. Like we can stand in this moment and just be like, nah, we're not gonna do that right now. And then something better is on the other and, end of that. And on top of that, like that was what around the three two year three year mark. Mm-hmm. At that time, you know, I think five years is a long time, but it's still not that long if you look at the scope of things. Mm-hmm. So jumping at something at three years, I I think we all just felt like we may be jumping the gun. Mm-hmm. Even though we're losing money, we shouldn't grab the first thing that has dollar signs because it could dilute what this could become. Mm-hmm. Well, again, at that time, I felt kind of bad for like y'all. Like you was going to work still. Mm-hmm. Uh, Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just relax you right there. Maul was in you and out of were town. devoting your time. Ah, devoting. I like that. And it's like, <laughs> devoting and your it's time. And it's like, okay, cool. Joe is passionate about this thing. Joe can continue to do this just for the free. But, like, my guys, I feel like, are new in this field. And how much longer can I expect them to devote their time without being paid? Like, I think that's why I may be considered some of those. But to me, that wasn't never really a deals. big deal because. We, oh, Maul, shut up. I'm not letting you off front right now. You're no, no, no. It was a big deal. It was a huge deal. I'm, yeah. I'm going to tell you why it wasn't at first, though, because. I ain't talking about it at first. At first, we were chilling. We friends. Yeah. No, but that's talking about around month. uh, (laughs) No, but I'm I'm just saying at first. At first, you don't you don't think about the money because it's like you don't even really know what money to accept. Like you don't even know how to really get paid for this shit yet. Like when you first starting it and building it, it's like. We don't know what we we was happy getting me undies. Like, remember we went crazy for the for the yoga pants and all of that. Like, we was cool with shit like that. that so ad, those yeah. yoga pants I the, still wear the, to this the, day. The bevel ad. Yeah, like we was cool with <laughs> yeah. shit like that. So it wasn't. But Wait, then you after know what? A while, we, we glossing over that. That's another really important point to be made of of our approach to ads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And our stance on taking ads, the ads we will take. Rory brought a lot of them early ads in, Bevel Me Undies, mm-hmm. all of that shit. Talk, talk space, we, we did a horrible, I, I, We did a horrible job <laughs> of Mattresses, representing Eric them. Eric helped us. So, so they, didn't, they didn't continue to pay us because it wasn't the standard way of doing an yeah. ad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they were taking the chance. They didn't even really know how to capitalize off a podcast. I got to ask. Yeah, uh, but that's one of those things. I think I had to get on the phone with either the president of Talkspace or somebody to talk them down about sending us the other half of the money after that talk space ad. I was like, now you don't understand, like Joe comes from that. You can go through his catalog. Like he would never mock any of that. He he really speaks for that truly. But our audience enjoys That's, satire and sarcasm. That was so a the great best, ad. The best way to get this. That was the this, best ad I've ever done. Yeah, it was by far. The best way to get this message across to our listeners is to talk to them like they'd like to be talked to. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, but that's still the fight today. I agree. Yeah. Like, a lot of you advertisers and the old people that work with the advertisers, your thinking is is old and outdated. Right. And when you get with some some guys that's not going to just move for the bag, no, rework your thinking mm-hmm. and, and then come back if, if you want to do business here anyway. It's also unnatural for the format. Like, I, I dislike when I listen to other podcasts that do take ads and it interrupts the whole stream of shit as opposed to that particular ad where it was just right in the conversation. Exactly. Like, if, more if people should do that. It feels like it's part of, even if you're joking at the time, part right. of the joke. And yeah. it resonates more with them because they're laughing and enjoying it rather than hitting that little 15-second thing you can hit when ads start on podcasts. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and do I think it's only worth $1,500 for me to integrate an ad in, re- in, 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 our, real time. in real time for you to avoid the paywall that you, like, how much is that worth, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it ain't worth $1,500. Right. No. But I also put a flip side to that coin, I do appreciate the early advertisers thinking podcasting was truly effective, and it is. Yeah. Because a lot of them would be like, I'm going to give them money for a podcast ad. And that's why the numbers, I think, were so low. But I do appreciate some of those advertisers that had the foresight to see that podcasts were important, and this is a space that should have advertising. I agree. 
But how they went about it, of course, it's early. We're all going to fuck up. But it was a stupid way to go about it. Like reading a 30-second mid-roll and a pre-roll is just not the best way for the consumer to listen about your product. I just, I, I wasn't about to sacrifice the content that the audience heard. Mm-hmm. Over fifteen to twenty five hundred dollars. It's not totally, worth it. Totally agree. It's not yeah. worth. It's cutting your nose to spite your face if you're playing the long game. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you were saying more about. I cut you off with my the ad shit, but you were going somewhere. Uh, I, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, I think there was two really pivotal, pivotal moments in the Total War Studio parking lot. <laughs> um, I think the first one was the full blown fight that the three of us had, not physically, um, that we ended up missing. That was like the maybe the two or three time in this entire five year period that there was no podcast episode because mm-hmm. we blew up at each other in the parking lot. I'll be honest with you. I don't even rem- really remember what it was about. Yeah. You reminded me. I don't remember, but we, we, we did, didn't record. No, we, we skipped the episode. We didn't even make it into the studio. I think that was, uh, well, what was fine though. That, I think I don't that even, was, uh, during what uh, I did. <laughs> we was Adderall. Arguing, we was arguing Probably. about, um, you know, 30 milligram joints. We was arguing about, I think the, uh, at that time, I think title was in play. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Nah. Yes. Type, title that was conversations outside me. of Park's house. No, we had that. That makes that sense twice, to me because that's when y'all was ready to murk me. I remember. You you oh, no, exaggerate that, time, that a bit. Yo, because it was, only, it was a short deal. I that's the only reason why I wasn't. Tr- it, was a, it was a short deal. It was only six months. It was like six that. months. Yeah. That's why I was and, like. And we wasn't as pressed as you make it out to seem that we were. Yes, you was. No, we wasn't. Yes, you were. We were interested That's, in hearing more. <laughs> yeah, nah. I, I wouldn't say I was pressed, but it was like, was uh, let's not just turn it down. Let's think about it. It's only six months. That's That was where I stood on it. With options. Oh, yeah. Every contract got of options. Course, absolutely. So it's not I only six months. I still don't think months. that was the fight, though. Not, the fight was y'all really wanted that deal. I don't think it was title. But then that's fine, because like I said, we was broke at the time, so maybe you're supposed to want it. My thinking was, and is if they offered that if we no but something else out there if we in a deal we can't listen to deals mm-hmm. that's yeah. my only thing oh, so no, so so while the, while we're building value why are we going to be in a deal and not talking about title but it a makes, deal listen it makes a deal perfect where sense we now. not getting analytics and information it makes perfect mm-hmm. sense now let me just thank you <laughs> thank you now it makes perfect sense. Then in the moment, it was kind of like, fam, it's six months. I'm just thinking six months, we out. Like, let's go take let's this back for six leave. months and we out. Uh, not, to, not to be okay. too mushy, but I, I do appreciate that from y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, I do appreciate y'all disagreeing with me uh, because I come, I come from jaded music business shit. So my mm-hmm. thinking right. is just different. Right. I do appreciate y'all disagreeing with me. But sometimes just riding off of trust. Absolutely, you have to. You have to. Yeah. No you niggas don't. <laughs> but, no, but, you, <laughs> but, but, don't. But, but we're a testament well, to you have to. This is a testament. Like you have to. You got to trust each other, even when it seems like the worst idea in the world. Like just go through it together, and and when we come out on the other end, it's like then we look back, like I will never do that again, or that was the best idea we ever had. Which brings me to my next conversation in the Total War parking lot that was so pivotal. Joe came and said, "Yo, we got another offer." Two offers. I'm not going to say what the numbers were, but one will be much quicker and you will be much richer very fast if we take this one. The other one, it's going to take some time, mm. but it'll probably end up being better in the long run. And mm. we, right, let's go long run. Mm. I don't even think it was a conversation. Mm-hmm. No, that was here. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was in this yard. That was back here? That was that Why was did I think yard. that was in total? No, that was Because the yards looked the same. Okay. That was here. <laughs> yeah, they're similar. That was here. Yeah, I remember that one. And that one, to me, again, but but, but by that time, we knew what we had. Yeah, we knew, yeah, yeah. We, No, we knew you speak, speak for yourself. You, you y'all, knew y'all, what we had. Y'all, y'all certainly shocked me in that conversation. Oh, no, no, no. You were surprised by I our response. I never thought y'all was. I thought that that was going to be our next fight. Two dudes nah. that were just pressing me about the title deal. And yeah. now, now there's this huge, huge deal that's going to make everybody rich. And I'm going to say, no, let's not take it. Yeah, yeah. No. no, I don't even think we spent not more all. than five seconds talking about that. Not at all. It was quick. It was yeah. quick. Um, another huge moment for me, uh, the name change. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. From our name, this podcast later to the Joe Budden podcast. Listen, I know a lot of y'all out there think that that's due to my narcissism. It is not. It is not. I just saw you guys really confused on how to find this thing. <laughs> SEO was yeah. bad. It was pissing me off. 
Yeah. And even though we ended up on this really simple solution, I hated that solution. Like, it took me months. The old name was great. Was that great. was the best podcast name in the world. It's just I'll a, name it's a this podcast later. Mm-hmm. The initial, I, that was my shit. It spoke the creative type of shit, but no, nobody could find it. And, that, and on top of that, anytime I would speak to anyone about the podcast from a monetary value or anything that would push us forward outside of the fans, it was like, yeah, the, the button pod. I was like, all right, so I, I see where this is going. Let's make it easier for everyone trying to search for the shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't know if it was that easy either. <laughs> <laughs> it was easy. No, I don't, I don't think we. we, we oh, we what are you talking? It might have been my idea no, to call that. No, me and Rory spent a little second on that. Oh, one. I'm about to say me. I don't care. <laughs> you could call it blue dog no, shit. Once we turn no, these no, mics no, on, and put it out. No, they no, gonna no, find it. Rory called me the next morning. Like, so why, 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 why didn't you say that? Uh, no, uh, looking for not, more information not, on it. Not, not, Joe, I mean, but why, Joe takes, why the Joe Button podcast? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we're here too. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> Joe. Joe always. Joe assumes so much from me seeking basic information. I do. Which is so. I, I assume a lot from a little anyway, though. Yeah, but sometimes it's just seeking. Yeah, I'd like to know what's going on here. <laughs> information is okay to share. <laughs> yeah, basic and info. seek. Yeah, both. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well. Whatever. Um, me leaving everyday struggle, big, yeah, mm-hmm. huge, huge, huge. Again, I had no idea that those fans would come over here. Like the podcast journey has been unpredictable to say the least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I'll say. That's a great word yeah. for even, what it's even been. Skipped over the before mall trying to find like you and I just throwing shit at a wall. Like, why don't we grab this chick? <laughs> Why don't we throw this, this dude over here? Like, I remember a couple of those. Because my thinking was, it was me and Rory, we need a girl. That was the thinking for probably two or three weeks. And we were really convinced on that. And then you and I looked at each other and said, well, why? Yeah. Not in a misogynistic way, but why? Right. Again, you know, information. Doesn't have to be a girl, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why, why does it have to be? Um, was there any Was there any adjustment period for you two as dudes that, like Rory said, didn't come from broadcasting, maybe had no real experience in broadcasting, learning the audience, how they react to what you say, what to say, like just being behind a microphone, that adjustment. Oh, f- for me, it, I probably, it was the biggest adjustment for me. I mean, you know me personally, like I'll, I'm open and talk and share with, you know, and if it's my, my, my people. Your right. crew. Yeah, but to, to random people that I don't even know, and to me that was the toughest part. It was like, uh... I don't want to just be talking to random people, but all right, I get it. So for well, me, you kind of don't still talk to them. No, nah, I, I do. I, I'm, I'm, you I'm, see I'm him at the meet and greet going, yo, fam, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, see, that's me opening up. But um, yeah, so for me, that was the 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 biggest change. It was just uh talking and 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 being open with people that I have no idea who they are. For me, that was just a very different. Never imagined I would be doing something like this. Uh, right. I th- I think for me. And early, I, I claimed I didn't give a fuck, and I know it's cool to say you don't give a fuck about public opinion. I had always lived my life amongst my friends. That should have smacked you in the face. <laughs> I had always spoke like I was speaking to my friends. Mm-hmm. I would always react away knowing my friends knew who I was, whether something was out of my character, or maybe I didn't mean that, or you know what I mean when I say that. Mm-hmm. Boy, is that different when you have everyone in your mentions with a completely different perception of who you are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's yeah. nuts. Or with no perception of who you are. Yeah. And now you're judged by your mistake. <laughs> yeah. And when, when I say or something. something you said off the fly. And when I say something, it's not mine. Like, whoever heard me say it now has the luxury of, of taking my words and making it their perception. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, I didn't say that. Just because you perceived it that way doesn't mean I said it that way. But And that was another <laughs> thing I learned, that you also are responsible for how people perceive what you're saying. I feel to that some opposite. degree, like you have, you are responsible for how people take in what you put out. I've gotten better at it for sure, because now I know I have to be particular with my words because people nitpick every last syllable that you say, mm. and then change it to whatever narrative they want it to be. That took some time, like, yeah. and then me just sitting on my tongue, like, fam, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like at some like point, that. like, where you at? Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's cool to just sit there and everyone that 
has a platform like why are you even reacting to these people cuz I'm fucking human right <laughs> shut the fuck up another you sit over here and do this <laughs> another moment i think too for us was when uh, we we started doing video mm when we started oh, on no, YouTube. Oh, one of the biggest. Yeah, that was... By, by far the biggest. One that, of the n- biggest. Number one, I would say. Yeah, that that was like, you know, I'm now I'm walking through the same blocks in Harlem, but people are saying, what's up? And yo, I fuck with the show. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And again, the arguments <laughs> or the arguments or the, the conversations that you have with yourself when it comes to some of these things, like with all these benchmarks that y'all are saying, I'm thinking about my conversation with Ian when it came to that. And for Ian to tell me that I had to pay over twenty five hundred dollars a month to record a podcast, yeah, mm-hmm. when I was broke, it's not an easy conversation to have. <laughs> Bam. Mm-hmm. Why? Right. And no, and why aren't you chipping in? Since this mm-hmm. is such a great fucking idea, mm-hmm. if you believe in it, bust it down. God damn mm-hmm. it! Right. Yeah, not nah, that was uh. That was tough to see zero return to just pay a certain amount and get like 39 cent back. (laughs) But it wasn't about that at the time. It was Mm -hmm. about just growing the field and doing shit different in the field. And I know this is podcasting, but why can't this be a video? And why can't we be visible? And why can't this be a, you know, like, thank God. Thank God that happened. Thank God that YouTube page was sitting there dormant Mm -hmm. because I had no idea what to do with it after Joe Button TV and and mm-hmm. grabbing that many subscribers at that time that were just chilling. Yeah, like what a cheat code! Hey, you hundred and twenty five thousand people that have been looking at nothing. Look at this. Yeah, right. and I had to learn that too because I I was listening to podcasts prior to us even starting one, and some of them had videos here and there, but that's not how I wanted to consume it. I preferred to listen to it on the go, working, working out, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. So when Listeners will come up to be like, "Nah, I just throw that shit up on the on the screen and I go about my day." Like, I don't even do the audio sometimes. Learning was the a, audience. was a, a new thing to me. I was like, "Really?" Because you're so when something's so new, you just think about it in your own lens, and you're like, "Oh, well, this is how I like to do it, so it must be how everyone else does." Right. Which is such a a, a false way to think. But, but yeah, when when listeners start telling me like, "Nah, I just I do the YouTube, man." Even where Spotify is today, shout out to Spotify and. Thank you. But even yeah. even where they are today versus the conversation they had with Ian and myself at the Mondrian uh, downstairs lobby when we were trying to get this deal Great chicken park. done. It was like, they need to update that menu. But um, It's been the same. But chicken and I'm not a chicken great. parm guy, so I don't order oh, that. But, gotcha. Okay. But that conversation was, I mean, not to snitch on anybody, but uh, yo, Let's just give something a shot. Let's try this. They had no idea what they was getting into. <laughs> they knew we had an audience. They knew they had a couple podcasts. Let's see how this works. Nobody was able to convert their audience to that platform before me. So for it to work like that, but that, that very first week, we trying to go live. The episode is late. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify's engine or whatever the inner workings of oh, there yeah, take remember. two hours to fucking process oh, yeah. and Spotify didn't think that was so important because it's just a podcast but nah, nah. y'all got this fucked up people mm-hmm. sitting there waiting hitting refresh nah it's a it's especially a especially to announce something they are adding y'all and killing y'all and bo- boy was that thank y'all <laughs> boy was that that was monumental like all those times you just realize how powerful the public's voice is. And from that point on, when all of y'all started hitting Spotify, like, fam, you 10 minutes late, you 20 minutes late, you 30 minutes an hour now, what what the fuck are you doing? I think they kind of knew the value and was like, oh, okay, we yeah. got to do some things differently here. Mm-hmm. It was never late again. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think I was a morbid thinker when... Nick Rosenberg had hit me and was like, Spotify's looking for you. Like, it was some mysterious thing. And I was like, I, I'm going to add Ian to the email. But I honestly didn't, because I'm a morbid thinker. I was like... Good old Nick. Shout out to Nick. Yeah, shout out to Nick Rosenberg and Peter too. Well, but we had hit Spotify. Ian had reached out to Spotify and however many other people he reached out to, but at least a year and a half prior to our Spotify talks. But the thinking always was with us that, hey... These streaming services and corporations, 
if you just continue to build, are going to have to reach out to you at some point because they're going to have to license the content. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't give the content away for free like we were doing with Apple Music mm -hmm. and SoundCloud, and just period, because that's the nature of the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you stop that or compartmentalize it, somebody's going to call and take you off the market. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what happened, man. I don't want to. I don't want to stay too much on this because I'm already a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, uh, it's important because people that have, like you said, other 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 podcasters and people that are creating something, they have to know the importance of you have to put in the time. You got to put in the work. Consistency. It's not going to happen overnight. Like consistency, go patience, patience, uh, open mindedness. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what this podcast thrives off of the chemistry between. The people that you work with, right, mm -hmm. on mic and off mic, and knowing mm -hmm. the power of saying no, that's yeah. very important in business. Period. And yes, at the right yeah. times, right, yeah, yeah, for sure. But more importantly, you have to know when what to turn down, and what to and, and be and be okay with it. Like be firm in that too. Like no, I don't respectfully, but no, I don't. You know, I'm not doing that. In general, that just uh, equates to knowing your value. Because Absolutely, you shouldn't always say no. But no, 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 you know, what I'm saying there's certain times no. where you probably should. Take absolutely, absolutely. But, but there's power in saying no. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So self-awareness, I think, is right. My, so my all creators thing. and I hate that word, but creators, podcasters. <laughs> uh, well, see how you sleep at night gauges that for me. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like when I used to when I used to uh, not have enough money to shop. If I saw a particular article of clothing and I liked it a lot, I would go home. Mm -hmm. I would not purchase it. And if I still thought about that article of clothing as I slept, mm. then the next day I would go back and, and, and get it. And it's the same yeah. thing here. Like, I think this podcast has thrived a lot on just living on living and dying on the side of what's right and what's wrong, what feels good, what doesn't feel good. Mm. Yeah. So the nose. And I, I'll be honest with you, in the past two years, I've probably said no to over 30 million dollars. Mm -hmm. I've never had that. I've never, I've never seen, I've never touched it. But what restrictions does that come with? Yeah. What guidelines does that come with? What rules does that come with? Like, nah, 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 nah. That doesn't, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't feel right. And if you're offering that, then we'll wait. We've been waiting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been waiting. What the fuck is the hold up? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sometimes nothing changing is all right. Like we've been living this way already. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Listen, you're talking to somebody who has spent majority of his life being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Real glad that things are changing now. I'm forever grateful. I'm forever in debt mm -hmm. to the fans, mm -hmm. to to y'all, to everybody mm -hmm. who has helped make this possible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And th thank you, Parks, for giving us a home, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. This this was this was this this, 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 was this became. Too. Especially video-wise, this became the That hub. was another really important piece because there was a stretch where before Parks was in play and our Total Total Studio was being reworked. Shout out to mm. Pat. And shout out and to Ferrari. Pat. Shout out to Ferrari. Yeah. They were reworking. They were remodeling their entire studio to make it more of a podcast space. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's how often we were in there. Um, But before that... Like there was like a month or two where we was just hopping around studio to studio, and what I learned was, oh, everybody's audio is trash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. is funny because we were going to actual studios, no, real studios. <laughs> that sparked conversation in my mind. Why are people having? It? There is a distinct difference in recording a podcast. Yep. And recording music. These were music engineers. Yeah. 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 Sure. As Me was I. <laughs> Remember we was in. True. Yeah. We were in uh, that random studio in Whitestone, and we went to like oh two, God, three different rooms. A nightmare. It was like midnight, a and at that time we were still catching steam. So we was like, all right, we got to put something out. So we called Parks because Parks was fifteen minutes away. Yeah. Came right into this space. I don't even think we had video yet at that time. I don't um, think so. We had done a couple here no, before. We had yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, start, done, we started video. I, I think this Whitestone thing was. I, I don't even. know I think if we it was had on done yet. one even with Marissa here. We, we, had, we, had, we had done oh, a couple. Okay, so yeah, okay. Okay. We had done a couple here over the years. Just when random, random we were working shit, on yeah. Rage or whatever, you know, in between projects. Did, pre did in Preem Studio we randomly did one time. A couple times, yeah. We studio hopped a lot, man. Yeah, yeah. That's part of it, though. Yeah. Well, well, well. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. 
Thank you guys. Savon. I'm, I'm glad that we're yeah, Savon. Erickson. Erickson both the visuals. Old Chris level. Brown, yeah. new Chris Brown. Yeah. Well, not new Chris Brown, right? You don't fuck with him no more, right? Fuck that nigga. <laughs> fuck that nigga. You robbed my nigga, man. Motherfucker. Yes. Yeah, uh stability happened in this living room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With Parks and Erickson See, and, and Savon too and Three Man New Edition. That's why shit from us, yo. Stability. <laughs> See, that's it does help. feel high. Now like, I'm about telling it. you, man. It helps it grow. It helps it, it grow. <laughs> See where they're they coming from with that one, right? <laughs> the whole stability thing. I knew where I was going every Tuesday now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I knew who would be there. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to divulge? Oh, the fans. Got it. Round of applause for the fans. Yeah, it, it, you know, the the listeners, the the viewers, y'all. I mean, to engage the way y'all do, whether it's it's, it's hateful shit, whether it's love, whether it's support, <laughs> we appreciate it all. Mm-hmm. I just love the fact that people are in, engaging and really subscribing to something, and just having conversation about it. But to me, that's dope. And I'll yeah. be honest, I still. Cannot wrap my head around it. I don't. I can't. I, <laughs> no, I don't my, think I ever will be able to. My my highlight of last year was was really meeting like some of our listeners. Oh, that shit was like greets. really cool to me. The like, meeting, meeting the people that listen to us. Shit. <laughs> yeah. and greets my that shit is awesome. Because yeah. you know what it tells me that I didn't know like. Y'all stupid like us. Yes. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Like, uh, for sure. Some of y'all need podcasts. Like <laughs> y'all are fun need, man. Yeah. yeah. So Absolutely. for y'all to just take whatever it is that you take from us, or for y'all to enjoy us the same way we enjoy you, pause. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah, it, it's special. It's special. And know we're men and we don't know how to show mushiness and vulnerability for the most part. Yeah. I, I don't want that to be overlooked at all. I think Rory, you spoke to that in your little Instagram mushy piece. Like Everything could be the same if, if, if it, y'all it, it, are not yeah. there. If there's nobody there, I said on, on IG, it's a bunch of idiots screaming with microphones and Wi-Fi. Like, yeah. that's just all we are. We're, mm-hmm. we're nothing if nobody's listening. That's, that's a true. fact. That's a fact. And like I always said, it takes a special, it takes a different kind of person to listen to this podcast and engage, <laughs> man. Like, I think our, our audience is just different thinkers. Like Definitely. It's, it's very a, diverse. It's very diverse. Very Come from different... Places all over the world. I mean, some people hit me from Africa. I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> there are people in Africa. A who, lot of people from Africa yeah, who think yeah. the way yeah. I think. Like, right. that's like, oh, all right. Like, it's 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 eye opening, but it's it's dope at the same time. Man. Makes you feel a little better. Like, you're not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh, I am crazy. <laughs> well, this whole yeah. shit is therapy, oh, by the yeah, way. Absolutely. This is very therapeutic. Oh, absolutely. I have I have lived the latter part of my 20s going into my 30s on a microphone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Every week. Mm, figures know you get it in on that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> figures. <laughs> I hate trash at it. Yeah, like, just, say, just say niggas. <laughs> nah, figures. <laughs> what is a figure? <laughs> I hate that edit. Me too. I do. I hate but it. But they never figured out how to never, do niggas right. Never. Never. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. Uh, all right. Maul wants to know how long after someone dies... Oh, uh, do you have to wait to date their widow? That, no. That's a great that, segue. That's the segue? <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Man, we just spoke that, that about the podcast question. journey for 40 minutes, As man. Let's we get should. To the, it's been five years fucking... worth of stuff. In 40 minutes, we did all right. That's true. Now, who you want to date? They got no, no, somebody no, no, died, no, man. Not, not me. I was saying, like, how... <laughs> no, nah, it's not you. No, not me. No, nah, nah, never. It's, it's always a friend. Come on. I, right. No, I was just thinking. I was like, you know, if a, if a, if a woman or a, a, a man, they're married, have a family, if... One, you know, significant other passes away. How much time has to pass before they are allowed to date again? Before people start to judge them or like look at them like, oh damn, like, like is there a a specific time that needs to pass? I don't think there's a specific time. I don't think it's right to judge though, because what if you need? We're in a judgmental world. Seventy years. Every, yeah. I was I was Took at sixty five. I mean, I, yeah, that's what I think. I was at sixty five. Yeah. And, yeah. and if she's dating someone that was loved by like a lot of people, yeah, she not getting that off. Yeah, no, nah. I thought so. She got to she got to move and delete but that's her, not right, her Facebook. That's not right because it says till death do us part. Yeah, so now, now we're yeah, apart. we we parted now. Yeah. yeah, you you left. I'm still here. Game's on. Yeah, so how long? Before? Actually, this this situation that you are naming, not on some uh, a million little things shit on ABC or NBC, whatever network that is, but. Most people in this instance, when they take the necessary time to grieve, end up dating someone that they're close to 
because that's who they reached out to while they were to grieving. Get the, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, and then they probably feel like that that has to be kept a secret because I'm dating someone that's close to me, close to me, yeah, or that or, I knew, or that was, or that close I was to friends with, or that knew my. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, and that and that sounds like it gets tricky. Fortunately for me, I've never been in that situation. Mm. I've never, and and I empathize with the women that have dated. Have dated y'all dated any women that, that have has, passed away? No, not dated. No, no. I, I have. I have. Not literally. Dealt, anyway. dealt with no. a woman They've that passed, passed away, away in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that ex? <laughs> uh, but no, my uh, my cousin that passed, her husband is now remarried. And it was a little weird in the beginning, for sure. But how long? How much time it passed? She passed in 05. He got married in 2014. So I'm, they dated for maybe four years. I'm not good at math. Okay. But so. it was like we weren't Five upset years. at all. But it was a it was a weird at first. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a shocker. How long did you say it was? <laughs> she passed in 05. They got married him, in 2014. Make him do something oh, that's, that's not bad. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. My sister's... No, we, uh, no, we went to the wedding. My sister's they had, they, first I mean, husband. Wow, wow, you phony. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <that's just> <laughs> How low would you give uh, your significant other? Joe just said Five to do what? Seven no, years. If, if your significant other passed, how long before you would start uh, dating someone else? Publicly. Because <laughs> <laughs> that—that's a question. <laughs> that's a question. Wait, can no, we? No, no. That's, that's we, real though. Can like, we pause? I'll keep it under wrap for a minute. But like, <laughs> the fuck is you saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna be on the gram with it. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. I'm respectful. Yeah, I'm I ain't respectful. gonna do all yeah, that, but yeah, I'm yeah. thrashing yeah. something down. Uh, <laughs> your your graves stay gonna have flowers, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. You know, I see them episodes of Power where Ghost had to go get that frustration nut out. It'd be like that. Like, oh, sad, man. Uh. <laughs> oh, t- Tommy, why'd you kill Angela? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are sick. Yeah, the funny thing is that, that's when chicks think I got the insane dick when I'm thinking gre- about some other shit. The grieving dick? <laughs> yeah. You got some other shit on your mind? Hell yeah, I'm not thinking nothing about you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it yeah. again. Uh, I'm not saying yeah, it anymore. Right. Now I'm not even here right now. <laughs> that, that grieving dick probably better than the pill dick. The Hennessy, the Henny dick. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> All those dicks are high up there, though. Pill dick. Roy naming the good dicks. Pause. Pill dick. <laughs> Whoa. No. I said pause. Twenty twenty two. Y'all around the corner. Y'all can't. said pause. <laughs> twenty twenty two. She's a prophet. Yeah, closer. closer. <laughs> Azalea wasn't wrong. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Bro. 2022. It's right, it's around, right around, 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 around right there. Yo, what, yo I see a few <laughs> niggas saying that because you put that out there. Like, That's what, what do y'all think is changing in 2022? And I think it hit me in my mentions like, yo, you my nigga, man, but <laughs> cool it down. <laughs> <laughs> you my nigga, but simmer down a little bit. <laughs> How you tell a nigga to simmer down? I said cool oh, it. Don't tell me oh, to oh, simmer my, down. My, cool it, Don't tell bad. me to simmer my down. Bad. My bad, my bad. The fuck? Um... We are the only we are the only podcast that talks about party next door this much. But Cause we, fuck with we, we love party. I really love party, man. I hate when I love niggas more than they love themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you feel. You feel like we love party more than he loves himself. I also had a real in depth conversation about exactly why I slash men might be jaded from the idea of love. Something, something Maul said really resonated with me a few weeks ago. He was like, hey. I, I've never really loved. Hey. Like, it stuck with me a little bit. It stung you a little bit? <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> you, had a ba- you had a bad weekend? <laughs> been milling over that for... I, I have, and while you guys can laugh at me, I delve deeper into that idea. Mm, let's talk and, about it. And no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. Okay. But in delving deeper into that Show idea, love. this is how I justify it. Because maybe Maul's right. I think that society's standards of what love is symbolic of mm-hmm. and what love means, mm-hmm. and not even society, but women. Mm. I think it's so far off of my idea of love that I can never commit. Mm. Okay. That's a good shot. Your foot was on the line, let me see. No, you can't. <laughs> That's a three. I'm just saying, like, for me, my idea of love is not so self-centered. It's right. not about, it's not solely about how I feel about things. Mm-hmm. So when women get into that bag with me, I take, I draw a hard line. Mm. 
because that can't be love if you're just telling me how you feel about something. Got you. Okay. Well, how did we get there? That was that was nice. How it was. We get there? No, he was just saying it resonated with him and he thought about it. And he well, said I, he doesn't we like party next door to. No, he was saying he doesn't. We love people more than they love themselves oh, okay. sometimes. Yeah, because I fuck with party. Right. I fuck with party. I want him to to do well. Uh, his first and he's, pro- necess- his he's first, a necessary artist. His first two projects, like his first maybe three <clears throat> projects, from whatever those projects, colors, whatever the project was, I love from yeah. Party. Mm-hmm. But like, I want I want more of that from him. Like, I I understand fans wanting that shit from the artist that they champion and maybe not getting it. I especially understand it uh, relating to Joe Budden fans. Like, in many a years, I didn't give you all that shit mm. uh, or wasn't producing in a timely manner. So for Party, I empathize with him because, like. Shit, Actually, Rory was with me in my living room when Drake called before there was a party next door and was just super excited about finding someone named Party Next Door. Mm. Like, yeah, he, he was he, he was going the, uh, ham with the, me um, like, yo, I found, fam, I found a group. I'm so excited. This is about to change the game. That was at the game we the went landscape. to. The, uh, it happened there, too. The Chicago, uh, uh, the Jordan brand. The Jordan brand, brand at uh, Barclays. Yeah, because I was like, what is his name? He was like, party. And we thought it was a group. I'm like, is that a group? He was like, no, it's just one guy. I thought the same thing, too. And I was like, well, and that's I had, his name. And I had yeah. questions about, about his label, how it was being distributed. But, like, I just remembered all mm-hmm. of those talks. Mm-hmm. So, for it to be here and me to watch it so intently... It's like I want him to do well, but the weekend won't let it happen. I think you know what, but I just think <laughs> I don't think it's that. I think he's, I don't say that to be funny. No, I, I, th- I, don't I think say he's it just to make really a, a joke. busy. A busy. He's he's busy writing. Like he's doing so much writing. I'm, that's what I'm hanging it up on. He's doing so much writing that he doesn't have a lot of time for himself. All of that's fine, but then you still have to tweet your week, and I'll smack the shit out of you. No, <laughs> no but but you know what, though? I actually want that's them, a good rollout. I actually want them to that drop should the be, same yo, day, though. Tweet that and drop the album. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo, I, tweet, I, yo, I'll smack the fire, earth, wind, and fire out of you. In the, Here's the link. In the, I, I in want the them to drop the same day. I want them to drop the same day. Party looks like he's about to miss February, too. I think I think he I I want party. Too many what days he, what he got? He got nine Friday. days, right? Too many days since January, yeah. and that's why I didn't agree when he said a date. When he gave us, a, you never put never. You never do that because then once you don't honor that, it leaves so much to speculation. Do you, do you see the weekend's artwork that he released? Yes, he's out for blood. Yeah, you know how you ever you ever look at artwork and could tell something is fire, <laughs> <laughs> or hope something better yeah. be fire. Okay, but you ever you can't look put at blood in your face and it not be fire. Fair. Word. DMX laid it in a whatever a, a, is coming a bath from, full of from, blood from this, and it was fire. <laughs> whatever is happening now after this is fire party. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but I'm listen, man. Party, I can't. We can't count him out. We cannot count him out. It's More has, after hours. I'm, I'm, I'm not counting him out. Can't More, count him I'm out. not counting him out. Can't. I'm not counting him out, even though he's giving me enough reason to. I want them to drop the same Friday. After hours, the no, party is after I do. hours no, usually. I kind of no, like. I kind of like it, like the Kanye like Fifty it. thing. Y'all I like it. No, you don't. And especially now, the way we get music, it doesn't matter. It does not matter if somebody else drops the same day you drop anymore. What yes, it after does. Hours. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Bro, if you are wrong, um, how? I'm just to feed into the I know we've had this talk before, but you are wrong here. I'm not wrong. It doesn't matter if party or the weekend drops and party drops on the same day it's like people are gonna tell go justin, to iTunes. I, I tell think, justin bieber and S- S- selena gomez that's not, or that's selma a, that's hayek not a, that's not a right um <laughs> <laughs> selma hayek yeah she got that fire tell selma hayek that. <laughs> no tell me that's, why i'm wrong um i don't think that's a fair comparison with them because they're two pop stars going against each other i think party still because i'll go with Moore's no they were point. going against roddy who's not a pop star or the, the stream numbers he was doing were of that magnitude. And they lost to Roddy, yeah, who okay. them or their label would have never said they would have lost to. They had no idea the brilliance of Lear Cohen and that YouTube gang <laughs> back there. Very so, true. So that's why I'm very, saying very true. That's, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying I think uh, Party, because he's taking so much time off, is still kind of going towards his core to that niche Party fan. It's a lot of them, but it's still a niche crowd where the weekend, there's Party and Weekend fans, but there's also just Weekend fans. Like they don't share the same 
They can't. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why if they drop at the same no, time, I, think I don't share think it, a lot of the same fans. They do, they, but week, no, they the weekend do, is the weekend obviously has a bigger another, artist. Oh yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Uh, he's obviously a bigger artist. The weekend. But what I'm saying is why it to me it doesn't matter about dropping on the same day as other artists anymore. It's because I'm in my living room on my phone, and if I know the weekend drop and I go to whatever streaming platform and then I see party right there too. I'm going to get that album too. Yeah, I agree with you. We, like we it talked about that. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Once I'm in my phone, I'm in my phone. So it's not like when you had to go to Virgin Mega Store in Times Square. You, divvy up your you knew you were only 50. going. I'm only going to get the puffy. No way had out. To buy out. two tapes instead of the CD. Yeah, like if even if I saw something else on the shelf, like damn, that's dope. But I ain't got the bread for it. I'm not going to spend another dub on that. Like I'm going back home. Now it's like, oh shit, party drop too. So now after I finish listening to The Weeknd, I go listen to Party's album, and then you know how we do, we take our favorite joints off the album, make our own little set, and that's it. Wow. So it doesn't even matter about who has the bigger name, the, the drop, and stay away from my release date. That shit doesn't matter. In fact, I feel like artists, if the biggest artist is dropping, I right, put me right there too on iTunes next to him. Somebody going to bump into my album by accident, and I'm going to get some stream. I'm going to get some accidental streams. And like, that is something I that's couldn't. I about. couldn't disagree. Absolutely. I couldn't disagree with y'all more when it comes to this. Topic. What if someone TikToks though, Joe? Huh? Like y'all are saying, Joe is boycotting TikTok <laughs> because it's China <laughs> trying to infiltrate our culture. I, I'm, uh, I don't disagree. So I'm not TikToking. I think that renegade dance is stupid. <laughs> I think it's teenagers trying to infiltrate our culture. That's why teenage, yeah, that's that's why teenagers why are the why culture. Uh, well, teenagers, teenagers are part of the culture. Teenagers are the culture. Teenagers are a part of the culture. I, I just know. have a problem with China being in charge of the monetization of it. Okay. Um, it's just Vine with another name and owned by Vine. Another person. Vine has to smack the TikTok dudes. <laughs> But tell me, y'all like that renegade dance that they showed the little girl doing all weekend? I'm super happy for I'm her. I'm happy she's getting her I'm recognition I'm super happy for, for her. Yeah. But, uh... It's the kids. It's, it's fine. I, yeah. You won't catch me doing that when my jam comes on, but it's okay. Can what do you, imagine what do you, what do you imagine do? Maul what, what, giving up the renegade? I want to know what Maul does when his jam comes on outside uh, of selling Nickelback. Maul thinks it's a Jay-Z and Eminem song. <laughs> I usually get on some ass, you know. I'm that guy still. <laughs> you still dubbing? They don't allow that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> that's a charge women now. Are, yeah, women are yeah. too busy on their phone. Yeah, women. Yeah, look what y'all have fucked up. Honestly, y'all fucked up the fucking cute dude approaching you in the club and put his dick on your ass and gyrating. <laughs> like that was the bag. I know now that's like some Harvey you Weinstein felt, shit, but yeah. that was the go-to well, back no, in the that day. That was not some Harvey Weinstein shit. That shit was okay. Well, if you was <laughs> ugly, they turned around like that was some Harvey yeah, Weinstein they, if shit. You like, ugly, they turned man, around. If you get the Harvey. fuck <laughs> off of me, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's that's how you you figured oh, what the vibes man. was. Well, that's how Rory and his crew got rich because they invited all the girls that are just let ugly niggas put their dick on them. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. So great market. It worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <Solid. laughs> them chicks didn't give a fuck. Nah, they they there to dance. That's a clean way to put it. They are there to dance. <laughs> there to absolutely. Dance. Uh, where was we going? Yeah, but party should definitely drop same day as weekend. And we all for party. Nobody cares but us. <laughs> Not people care. <laughs> I don't think so. Especially if the music good, they don't care. I bet you party don't drop this month. Uh, that's not a safe. That's a safe bet. Yeah, there's only one week left. There's another. Uh, there's he, has, a, he has two Fridays. Hypothetically, there's another. Drake I got him on the twenty eighth. I got him on the twenty eighth. Oh please, Get the fuck out of here! No way. I got him on the. Oh, there's a leap year, so there's, yeah. There's another Drake Drake feature on this album, right? I would for sure. I would assume. So. I would think so. That's why he's chilling. That's why he's not really worried about what the weekend doing. Yeah, I don't find it funny that we and, didn't and hear, I think there's a Rihanna one. We didn't hear no audio from Drake, whatever he was rapping in front of Marcy. No, a, a no louder way. snippet came out at another scene I don't, I don't think when he funny. was under like the Manhattan you don't think Bridge. That's funny. No way. I don't think that's funny at all. That the biggest artist in the world is in front of a projects in Brooklyn, rapping a song and we don't hear it. We don't hear what he's. Well, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I would not be surprised if Drake does his videos different than every other artist. I wouldn't be surprised if there was no music <laughs> during a Drake. I thought about that. Honestly, there's, I thought there's, about him just rapping too much, it's too much money involved. He might have it in here. If Drake has a single and wants to go to Marcy Projects to shoot the video but doesn't want the song to be heard or released, yeah. he's that level of artist where, nah, we not, we, you know, y'all can't hear this. I remember when Jay got, Hove got the Def Jam and one of them albums he was putting out I don't remember which one it was, but they started leaking shit and drops started coming from all types of places. Like 400 of y'all niggas got fired. <laughs> like, they're not playing with but y'all. But I only say that because if this song is bringing me back eight and nine figures, I don't have time for your phone games. I, yeah. I agree with you, but a clip did drop at a different scene. I think he was in front of the Manhattan Bridge. I don't think it was the Brooklyn Bridge. I forgot. But look um, at, but, but it was much louder and you could hear the song. 
pretty fucking clearly. Like it's a good snippet of half a verse. I'm ready for a new Drake album. Well, I love that he's shooting a video to the type of record that it was. Because it, it, mm. it wasn't a single chase record. It was the type of Drake we like. My homeboy brought up, he said, uh, he said, yo, what if Drake was standing in front of Marcy and that song he doing is a diss record to Jay? Never. I said, my nigga, listen. That would, that would, never, never, that would never happen. <laughs> I said, no. nah, Drake ain't doing that. Drake is not doing that. Your homeboy has a wild imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it, though. I, liked, I just like people that think like that. I like it. They was on Tove and Drake already went back and forth a bunch of times. They dissed each other on every record they did together. Yeah, and and I think he addressed it in the rap radar shit of saying, "Yeah, we did our back and forth. We're over. We're friends now. It's cool." <laughs> hey, we was talking about whole Sunshine record a few weeks ago. Why we don't never talk about his record with Drake? Uh, we off that <laughs> when he named all the things that he still wears now. <laughs> This is why I don't fuck with you. No, I'm this to, right I'm here. Ho tried to, 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 to cancel Tim's and got him on yesterday. You know the hook, huh? You know the hook. <laughs> nigga, we off that. You know what I don't know what he was, I know he Y'all niggas wearing them Tim's. We off that. Yeah. Anything you niggas is doing, we off that. Yeah. Now I'm here appearing with Drake. We off that. Nigga, nigga we <laughs> off that. I said we off that. That was the hook. You remember the hook? Yeah. Yeah, nah. I'm shutting up because Hope not, might be listening. We're not off. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> he has some time now that Jay Elect is wrapped up. <laughs> Jay, I'm not doing this Jay Elect shit with y'all. All right. Uh, Maul thinks that all of us collectively need to send Future a suicidal hotline number. <laughs> yeah, pray for Future. That's dark. Pray for Future. What well, Future did, man? No, not what he did. Uh, you know, I, I heard the line in his, uh, his record um, dedicated to his girlfriend. And uh, he's in love, love, man. And we what know was that. The line? Uh, I'm I'm rich like she called me daddy because I'm rich like Steve is or something like that. It was along those lines, yeah. That might have yeah. been the direct. A few quote. months ago, I came in here and said Steve Harvey hates them too, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure Steve Harvey wants to see fisticuffs with Future. No, I think Steve Harvey is giving Lori all the game. No way in the world. Okay. No, you ain't read a book from him. Okay. <laughs> no, see, the book was the Let smoke and the mirrors. Book. The book was the smoke uh, and mirrors. Uh, he giving uh, her real game behind the scenes. That was just to sell Barnes and Noble and you know bestseller and, and, and all how, that. A movie I, with Kevin Hart. Yeah, that was all of that. I don't think and so. John Legend and song. I don't think yeah. so. And that's why I can't wait for one of y'all, just one of y'all, to have kids. All of my friends that don't have kids, and not just y'all, some of my women friends too that don't have kids. When y'all have kids. It's going to be like, fam, I spent 20 years safeguarding against this. <laughs> and here yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, she's going to have to well, date nah, somebody. Steve Harvey no, 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 done no, made yeah. $100 million. Yeah. Steve Harvey has put himself in a position where, hey, my kids don't have to do some of the shit that mm-hmm. I had to do. And now at 70, 67 years old, however old he is, I got to look at my phone and see my stepdaughter running around with the fucking toxic rapper nigga on pills and I gotta hear him say I got money like Stevie you got guns like Stevie nigga (laughs) (laughs) are you ready to die like Stevie yeah man I I just don't know that that would play out like that but I do agree with Mo I think the future is gonna have a hard fall oh man he is gonna have a hard fall Mm. I can't believe that you guys don't think that those two are gonna work out yeah it's, (laughs) it's unfair it's unfair. Yeah. Where are we getting? Where are we gauging this from? Yeah. yeah. See, I don't even let my mind look at the young girls that are fine. Like I don't look at Lori Harvey, Lori Harvey, Jordan Woods, that whole little twenty-two year old click. Never I don't look speak. at that click. I have never heard her speak. Still, I know, I've never heard her her voice tone. Who, Lori? Anything. Never. She don't speak. She directs you by pointing. That's why you got to nigga buy that bag. You got to salute her. <laughs> salute that. Got to salute her. The other thing, what I will salute Future for is. And as a man, I've been in this spot where we just pull the same bag out for everybody. How many times can Future get this roses everywhere trick off? Till it stopped Nobody working. wants to talk about it? Till it stopped working. Yeah. He done did the roses <laughs> everywhere for Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. And did the roses everywhere for your birthday. Mm-hmm. And did the roses everywhere for my other baby mama Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, send some roses to my other homegirl that I fuck with. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. fam, why is he rose man? That's swag. <laughs> It works. It's, it definitely works. All right, enough about this. Y'all tell me about the wildest shit y'all did when y'all was pussy whooped. <laughs> the wildest shit I did. No, now niggas want to whistle. <laughs> Didn't think Rim would be home today, huh? 
Yeah. Before you, say, before you say something, she go, yeah, all right. <laughs> What's the wild Boy, you wasn't never pussy. Well, don't do that. Yes, I was. No, you was not. I was younger, hell yeah. For real? I Absolutely. couldn't imagine. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I love y'all, man. This is the uh, greatest podcast in the world. Absolutely. I think this is the first thing the ball like is it's fessed up to that was uncool. It's true. Well, no, no that's not that's uncool. To be got, pussy see, and that's why that's the only reason they did it because it's, it's kind of cool to be pussy whipped at some point oh, in your yeah, life. Yeah, you have to be absolutely when you get that first like. But when did you know you were pussy whipped? Um, I be pussy whipped a lot. <laughs> I think I knew I was pussy whipped when she would. I was like. On time every time we was going out, <laughs> like I was early. <laughs> look at Mo, be in front look of her Mo's building, like I'm I wish you would be pussy whipped to this podcast. I be I be in front of her building for like twenty minutes. I be in front of her, minute, her building Word. twenty minutes early. <laughs> That's when I knew I was like, yeah, I like. I get home I'm before stuck. midnight. <laughs> I was I was only twenty minutes late. Hmm. Dang, I, you know a bag I ain't got into in a while because probably because this is solely locked for my pussy whip bag. The sucking toes bag. <laughs> that's out of your repertoire. Unless I'm pussy. Nah, if she got nice toes. Yeah, that's 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 yeah, then, then good for her and her pedicures. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> so that's what's that got to do with I'm me? Big, I'm not a big toe sucker. But grow yeah. up, fam. Like we got to be doing some ghost mold and clay shit for me to get to my sucking the toes bag. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did I get to the toes? I think the whole foot and sex thing is a little weird to me in general. Feet and sex is not a mix. I mean, it's part of the body, no doubt. Oh, for me, footsies leads to sex. Uh, footsies. <laughs> That's your bag? It's fair game. Uh, yeah, because we're going to play footsies, and then I'm going to mount you. <laughs> mount you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your verbiage on, like, sex is wild. Why? I'm going to mount you. I am. You mount stallion. You. That's, <laughs> that's my line, the mount. <laughs> you ever okay. notice how Prepare Joe, yourself. I'm Joe's about to English mount gets you. mad proper when he starts talking about sex. I will mount you. Yeah, he starts, he starts talking like he's from the 17th century. <laughs> By mounting? Yes. Mounting? Mount. I'm going to mount You thee. shall be mounted. Y'all don't mount? You shall be mounted at dawn. <laughs> Good. Well, Before the last horseman uh, enters. <laughs> yeah, Neville, you've been rubbing my chest for 90 minutes, man. I'm, I'm on yeah, top yeah. of you now. <laughs> now, like, you take you your for. hand, <laughs> put it here. <laughs> yeah. I have other areas that <laughs> like to be rubbed. Insert me in you. Yeah. And yeah. watch what I do. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh baby! <laughs> oh baby! Oh my god! Oh baby! For a little while. <laughs> Come on, man! Yeah. For a little while. Come, Come on, man! Baby, for a little while. For a little while. It's only gonna be a little while. Yeah, it ain't the longest old yeah. baby. Yeah. Like, you was mounted, but yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't really stay on the wall that long. And then when I'm done, old baby, and oh, yeah, I'm so corny. We really about to. We're not doing this because I'm corny. <laughs> and That's y'all, right, though. But y'all you know, won't be corny with me. Is why I'm gonna do fine. it. When you recognize that it's corny, it's fine. It, it, it negates it. It's like once you, rec- <laughs> but if you think it's cool, when it's corny, like oh, you corny. But oh, once no, you no. know it's corny, oh no, I think it's cool. Uh, oh, I think all shit I be doing is cool. <laughs> no, but you know that it's corny. But you think that the corny is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fine. Like, yeah, yeah. Once, yeah. once I mount you and I'm getting into the Joe bag of things mm-hmm. and I want to change this because I'm tired now because I, I smoked and did a whole bunch of shit in my life. Mm-hmm. Like, I let you know I'm out of breath. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Blame it on how good the pussy is. <sighs> <laughs> After we roll it, yeah. You gotta blame it on how good yeah. the pussy. Now yeah. tell me it's only me. It no, ain't, right? No, See? No, that's why that's, 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 why, that's that. why I fuck with you dudes, man. Um, all right, so future's not gonna kill itself because Hope him not. and Lori are still traveling the world. Yes. <laughs> Everything is good now. A lot of roses. Okay. Um let's see what else is happening. You know what I meant to t- uh, tell y'all? Uh Rory, I meant to tell Rory specifically because we didn't talk about we never talked about that Staten Island mob boss that got killed in front of his house yeah. by the young guy that allegedly and, and, was dating his daughter because you was too pussy to talk uh, about his it. His nieces. Yeah. Smart. But, no, super smart. Rory being Staten Island, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bro. Hey, well, hey, rep your hood. I don't and, know. And his, his nieces be out. But uh, in the newspaper, this was two to three weeks ago, Homeboy's, uh, sell, help, so Homeboy's defense is uh, insanity. Well, that was his defense from Rip. No, but now he's standing up, or two weeks ago, he stood up in court to tell everyone in court that he had private and secret information about human trafficking, sex trafficking, and some other type of trafficking. Okay. All right. Well, he, he initially came, when it first happened, he put that little Trump secret society thing on his hand 
and there was this thing that that apparently some conspiracy shit that's probably on Reddit. I would assume. I'm sure something with not like or YouTube too too much credibility behind it. Um, no offense, guys, <laughs> but it was something about how Democrats are sex traffickers and Trump is here to save the world from the sex traffickers like it's this whole thing and he put that new world order shit on his palm and showed everyone when he was in court to plead not guilty he's on this trump shit and tried to tie it into him killing uh cali was not killing who cali what's his first name the gentleman that passed i'm not sure uh, my remember. boss cali was his last oh, name. i don't know his la- i don't i don't remember his name off top okay uh well yeah that he's been on this already this isn't a new thing all right um, what else did I want to ask you gentlemen about? Uh, yeah, Frank, Ma, Cal- Frank Kelly, hmm? Summer Walker versus HIV patients. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm? What happened? I'm not familiar with. What's Summer on? Walker missed a flight. Hmm. Okay. Or let me not do that. Let me not lie on her. Something happened with her. Mm-hmm. I think it was she missed a flight. <laughs> This is not important enough for me to go do actual research on that. But <laughs> whatever she was angry at, she went on her socials and said, hey, this is what just happened to me. Oh, here we go. Whoever stole my laptop off the L.A. flight last night can suck a fat, stinking, uncircumcised, HIV infested dick. That's what she said. Not, not okay. from the homeless people in L.A., though, right? <laughs> How long is this woman's career going to last, Ma? I'm asking you. Because you go to her pop up shops, her secret shows, her pop up shops. shops, her Finsta, <laughs> yeah. her, her her Finsta, yeah. um, her burners. <laughs> Listen, Ryan. Well, first, first of all, do you believe that there is something offensive in here? Um, I don't assume you'd have HIV, but no, I don't. This would be uh, offensive, offensive to. He could be uncircumcised. All right, never mind. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say offensive. <laughs> right, I don't know if you had good. HIV, uh, knock on wood, <laughs> it it knock on wood, would you think this is offensive? This is offensive, Ma. Okay, I know some, sometimes you, you get in, you may in think your, it's offensive. I'm I'm still trying to find the offensive part in it, but okay. Because if I'm I not have, saying it's not offensive. Because if I have HIV, I feel away at this post. What if I have HIV and I've been living for the last fucking twenty years with HIV and I, it, like, what are you talking about? Well, and then you say she's wishing. Hey, I'm angry you. at somebody. Hey, suck fat or uncircumcised HIV infested dick. Whoa, fam, that's offensive. The same way your LA bum comments were offensive. The same way she said mad offensive shit. And I'm not harping on her because of that stupid justice episode we did. So I won't. <laughs> right. But do you want to get on the phone? And I love her music. Oh, she's amazing. I love her music. Yeah. But yeah, she's okay. a fucking but, doof. But see, this is this is Yo, this goes back to my she's thing a of fu- just say she's a doof and then I'll roll. I'll, I'll having leave your, it. Having your phone in your hand is such a dangerous thing at times because you just go straight to social media. Like she could have said that, and it probably wouldn't have been a big deal. But when you post it, it's like you taking the time to actually. Put well, you could think there. what you want. She could have thought that all day yeah, long, and nobody would say shit. That's 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 what I'm saying. It's like you, people got to just know. Just stop grab. Stop being so quick to grab your phone and react, or just get some energy off. Like, and, and she and, says, and, "I don't uh, care if I'm canceled, quote unquote. I, I offend someone every day. What the fuck is new?" A lot of the insults that we grew up on, and said to one another, should not be publicized on the internet especially if you're a public figure today yes because uh, there was offensive. plenty of times i have heard on plenty of blocks something similar to this absolutely absolutely <laughs> that's so what i was kind of trying she to didn't make like, this up okay, like this was it. her own thought this has been said for quite some time mm-hmm. but which we're means, getting to an means. age where you should not say these things especially publicly on the internet there we go i get it there we go i get it um I'm not coming in here uh, with my uh, Puff Daddy revolt cape back on. What what happened? But did you guys hear what 50 Cent had to say about the whole Mace situation? I didn't. Yes. That was actually a good interview. It's, it's on and my a low great, And a great conversation piece. Yeah. One that Parks and I tried to touch on, and we got called Republicans and and anti- All What do they call us? Uh, I don't know. A lot of but Republican I had, shit. Listen, I had no, I didn't, I didn't know that. Did y'all know that Mace had something to do with Fabio? I knew nothing about that. I had no idea. Not the slightest. I actually thought there was a typo in the description when they said 
50 will talk about Puff's publishing controversies and Mace taking Favio's. And I thought that was a typo because it's on my thing to talk, to watch. I haven't watched it yet. But I saw that description. I said, that must be a typo. So I'm going to play this clip. But to hearken back to what I was saying when I had my Puff cape on, but not in the Puffy conversation. And I, not to cut you off, but I've, I've always had love and respect for 50. But after this, watching this, I I have more respect for him after watching this uh Why? This conversation. Uh, Certain things he touched on uh, and he was just talking about and just the way his mind works, he uh, he still operates from a hustler's mentality. And um, it's it's just interesting to watch him operate from that mentality and to do the things that he's done and still be able to. um, He's still in touch and in tune with what's going on. You know what I mean? And the part. Oh, go ahead, bro. Well, the thing with Fifth is so many people see 50 now on the internet kind of back to the summer thing and 50 don't give a fuck so 50 is going to give you the jokes and the pettiness on the internet and you're going to start to get a different perception of 50 when he's been doing it since 2012 on the internet of all these antics you catch 50 in a serious moment and see who he actually really is as a person he's a really intelligent dude no he's, <laughs> he's a marketing like, he's a marketing but he's a really really and you realize that a lot of that shit he be doing is really just jokes and he don't give a fuck mm. He does this type of shit privately. No, 50 needs therapy, but y'all are right. 100%. But y'all are correct. 100% he does. But what he focused on here, which is where me and Parks and I try to- Every black man in America needs therapy. um, True. What he focused on here, which is where Parks and myself tried to shift the conversation, but I understand I might have been too intimate with it for people to view it that way, was most times in these publishing arguments, the publishing deal is signed- before the hit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Actually, let me play the clip. Let me play the clip first. That's what I'll do. Um, I thought, like, it was an interesting debate that kind of went on. Um, Puff had the Grammy speech, and then Mace came and said his whole thing about publishing, and that kind of became, became a big debate just about, like, people kind of owning their publishing and owning that. Yeah, you being, like, an owner of a label, like, you you the boss of the label. Look at this. It's specifically that, right? Puff did the Grammy speech, may say about the publisher. This is just personal shit between the two of them. And, I, and they, those feelings are there because they dealt with each other for years and years and years, right? And the shit is deeper than you can actually see on the surface, and from, even deeper than what I know. But I, I met and hung out with both parties. But you look at it and you say, when he's pointing out the publishing shit, he's doing the same shit to the young boys now. Hmm. Fabio, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's there. Yeah. He's done the same shit that, that they did to you, boy. The fuck are you crying about some shit that somebody did to you, to you and you doing it to somebody else? Right. The fuck out of here, man. Right. Is that how it goes? It's, like for the young niggas, is that how it goes? Like, is it a rite of passage where, like, you know what I mean? For, is it good business for me to like uh, get my publishing up right now, Brian. and then I come back to the business? When when they be saying it's a whole lot of gang shit, right? Gang gang. <laughs> whole lot of gang shit going on, nigga. You yeah. might not even get a record. You gonna not take the money? Mm. You see what I'm saying? So the young boy could say, I could mislead him by saying, nah, don't do this, don't do that. But then how the fuck you gonna eat? Right now. Right. How you gonna eat? That's what that's based on. And then you can't cry over spilled milk later after the fact, look at it and go, oh, I should have never did this. Yeah, then that means that you're the kind of person that no matter what happens later, you're gonna look at it. I said, I should have did this different. Right. You know what I'm saying? No. Things you go through make you who you are. You no, said, Joe Biden. You did the deal. That's the right deal. You asked me yeah. probably did the right deal? I said, yeah. Right. And I understand what he's saying, but that's why that publishing thing has to change because, granted. Elaborate on your understanding of what he's saying. Like, okay, so a new artist, he takes a pub deal. He doesn't have an album out yet. Mm-hmm. Like like 50 said, you might not even. He, he doesn't uh, have a song. Yeah. Like, you don't have shit. No, Fabio has a record. No, I'm not talking about Fabio. Oh, I'm just saying, a, a, an artist like that. Yeah. Well, we don't know if he had a record when he signed whatever public Right. Deal he I don't know enough to. about Fabio but to he, speak to Even if he didn't, situation say he didn't have a record uh-huh. when he signed a publishing deal, right? Yeah. My thing is, if we've gone all of these years and I've made the label all of this money and we've our relationship is what it is and we're cool, whatever, even You're if saying, it goes sour, it. it's like, okay, there needs to be an some changes to it. Like that's just that's just me. Like it can't you can't hold me by something that that's almost like if I commit a crime at sixteen years old 
and you want to try me as an adult and give me all these years. And it's like, fam, you going to hold me to what I did when I was 16? I'm a grown man now. 28 years old. I'm 30 years old. Well, what's the crime? That's a different conversation. No, but, but I'm just saying, you can't, if I sign something out of a f- desperation, right. I'm in the hood, broke, I don't, and you think I got some talent, and it's like, yo, you say, yo, here, I'm going to give you $50,000 right now. It's going to be hard for a kid not to take that fifty grand. That's not the angle I focus on, by the way, because you're right. Uh, 99% of the time, it's hard for a kid. Yeah, like not, I'm taking this out of, in money. a situation that I'm no longer in. I, I'm focus- I would never sign that deal now. I'm focusing on the person that, like Fifth said, don't really have confidence in their ability to create a record that's going to move the way he needed to move on his own. Mm -hmm. I'm focused on those, the people that take the money, because I don't know if I'll ever be offered this again, and I don't know if I'll create something that'll take me to a higher plateau. Yeah, but mm-hmm. once, but but the thing is, once we know it, it comes. To, I'm the biggest artist, and this like, it's like there has to be some type of change in that well, contract you, I signed. Then you short ten years me, ago, but then you short changing me for the risk I took. I took a risk on you, Ma. Yeah, but I you came. Took, if I you took wait, a fifty thousand dollars dollar risk, and I, I came gave, in, and I, gave, I, I earned you your label seventy million dollars, fam. Come on, what should be done? I need to get some of that, Rory. I think I think to Joe's point and to 50's point, we're in that time where it's so easy to make music and there's so many rappers that are chasing bags just because they're creating music. They're not real artists. So, yeah, it's going to take some of me being the music person to get your music out there. So, yes, I do deserve some of your publishing when it comes to that because you're just someone that has an image that white kids like at the moment. Shit, let's talk about that, actually. <laughs> You want to talk about now you just have an image. When Mace was popping, you needed the label. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, that was a different time. Yeah. You well, need, I, you I'm were not now, doing t- that. T- today, you don't need a label. You don't need an image. You, you yeah, don't need shit you don't today. Need shit. You need a pro tool. So some, it's like, give no, no, me no, all no, my. No, 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 no. Some, some artists need a label now. They do. You're right. I'm, I'm, You're right. I'm all I'm on the independent side hard. first. There's artists that need a label right now. No, there's some artists that just want the label. I don't think any artist, true artist, needs. But there's a lot of because them the, that you no. can't convince them of that because of that, how they view labels and how they grew up. And I just had this conversation with somebody, an artist, and they was like, nah, we want to make it go as far as it can go. But like I, some people I, I view independence that label as shit that. Now. Like maybe for like a QC, yeah, people want that label stamp, not for a double entendre there. QC but. is not a label, by the way. Uh, like that's when I, when I, production company. Yeah, when I management. say label, I'm not they talking have, about QC. They have distribution, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If we get separate Subsidiary. conversation. Similar to Kevin uh, Durant's Knicks debate of they're not cool anymore. So that's where I disagree. These young kids aren't looking at a Def Jam or an Interscope and going, that's cool. I, yo, my whole life I've been trying to sign to Def Jam. They haven't. That was my generation and your generation. That's gone now. So I would say gone, but it's diminished. It's diminished. People still want records. A lot. Deals. That's still a labels thing. are not cool anymore, but they are a necessity in, to some artists. Not absolutely. We've been on this podcast preaching the independent thing as, as much as possible, but I still think there are some artists that need a label. You're not a real artist. You're catching a fad, C- kind of to what Fifty was saying to some degree with the gang gang thing. Like we, we we've seen artists pretend to be gang members because it's it's cool to be that now to the masses. Right. Not. In the actual, and we've area, seen but, artists take so back. Yeah, you need and, a label to put that out because you're not a real artist. That's not even your real life. And we've seen real artists take back seats to gang members. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm just adding that to you. No, no, you're, you're well. We've been seeing that it's, since we've seen a lot of shit. The 90s, <laughs> 80s, but yeah, so man, yeah. Is. Give me the KRS one doc, man. I'm dying for somebody to tell the truth about him and Boogie Down. I, I think they've told it I to some degree. To oh, did they? I haven't seen it. I've been watching all the docs. I would love. Have to you see seen that. it? No. Yeah, tell me about the real Shannon KRS beef. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I I do think there's some publishing that is deserved because a lot of these kids are not real artists. And to to your point, and I guess what Fifth was saying there too, you're not you're not an artist. You you need me to put something out. <laughs> So I yeah I need to take some of that. I'm risking on someone that's not an artist. No, I'm not saying you can't. They they not they shouldn't get some of your publishing, but I mean it's like some of these dudes are getting from what they've earned for the label compared to what they're getting back is insane. Like they not getting it's, shit. I mean, no, that's, in, a, in the best world, fifty percent. 
That's not fair, though, too, because there's so many different ways that money gets broken down. Like, yeah, you might only get $1 million, and the label got $15 million, but the label had to pay a billion people you did not. You understand? Yeah, but I'm. I, everybody. They didn't just keep the fifteen. Like, yo, but, I'm good. But everybody, like, everybody's eating. Marketing team and all. But everybody's eating. I, everybody's eating off of my talent, though. Shouldn't they? No, I'm. I'm not saying they shouldn't be eating more than I'm eating off my talent. But they're not individually. It's not, a whole no, not, 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 not individually. But there are some individuals that have made more money off of artists than the artists have made. I'm sure there's uh, cases where that happens, but I think. And that's, that's why I'm saying that has to change. All, sure. Also, what it's hard because it's it's art, like publishing arguments that come down because you're arguing a percentage of what I contributed to some degree, and it it becomes difficult because it's so blurred there. Like, I wrote this, I wrote that melody. Okay, the label, no matter what, is getting this piece of the pie. It's such a a blurred line, not black and white thing, for money that is produced in like marketing or advertising where everything right. is black or white. Like we put out this much product and we got this much money back. Right. It's, a, it's such a weird yeah. concept that you're putting out art and it gets broken down in percentages of how you contributed to it. It's just such a weird conversation to have when you think about it. I just feel it's like a if, really odd thing to debate. I just feel like if they change the way we buy music and they change the way they count music as sales and all of that, then they need to change a lot of the business behind music as well. You can't, I'll try change, to, you can't change the way you sell my music and the way people receive my music, but not change the way I, do agree I with, eat off of my music. I do agree with that to a point, but I do not still feel like everyone deserves 100% of the profits. It doesn't fucking work no, that no, way. No, no, I, I never said <laughs> it that. It never works I, that I, way. I never said that. But it's often, I never it's said often that. pitched that way by the angry artist. Is yo, I only got paid a million and the album grows seventy million, but yeah. like yeah, a million people's palms needed to get greased. People with families and careers that were doing act came up with the idea to make the shiny suit, came up with the idea, yeah. you know, I'm not saying that was puff, I don't know who the fuck that was. Whoever it was. I, I'll yeah. even say it's it's even more when it comes to the label side because when you're sitting in a studio parks, you'll see a producer a writer and an artist try to break up, okay, you did 30% of this, you did, and try to break down the publishing shit, whatever. Right. When it comes to the label, trying to figure out if the label's marketing sold more records for you than your actual song is such... It's hard. It's, it's I, I don't even impossible. know how you, like, I'm stupid, so I don't even know how you do it. <laughs> yeah. And that's a bit, like, we don't have to get into the uh, idea of someone's... Mace may have funded other projects to come out, good or bad. Say what you want about that. Like the ability, the the fact that Mace sold ten million albums maybe allowed for G. Depp and Black Rob to happen. Mm -hmm. It probably did. So, did. do we take money out of Black Rob's pocket now to feed Mace? That's what Joe argues in podcast land. Whatever the next podcast is that you get automatically bumped to after this one, I want to be paid from them. Getting someone, by that? getting someone to acknowledge that that's what should happen is a whole different fight. Yeah. Uh, what do I mean by that? Yeah. Um, the Auto algorithm, play. Just the algorithms and, and yeah. where they put you when they when you use one popular show to promote or lead to maybe an unpopular one. Okay, mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. Though I, I think we're having a different conversation than Maul is having. Now, in the scope of me trying to think Maul about is what, always, what, what, what I don't talk, Maul about. is always having a merit conversation, which is why I don't really get too in depth with it with Maul because we all kind of have similar merits. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, we be having a business and business first art. Yeah, that talk. Yeah, which, Maul, Maul my, is speaking of the artist getting fucked. But that, that's my thing. No, like, it's a, a merit. Of, no, it's a merit thing. Yeah, but that's a, a merit thing. If a we do these, a deal, and Maul is saying, "Yo, hey, fam." I've been outperformed whatever we arranged. Yeah. Your merit should say, hey, kick some back yeah. or do if, the right if, thing now. If, and if not we're only continue that, to do business together. Not only that, because a lot of these a lot of these business plans and business models are from way back in the day when artists we know were getting fucked. Well, can I true. ask y'all? Can I ask y'all? Very true. We have no way of knowing. That's what very, I'm very saying. Can like, y'all change some of that shit? Yeah. And that, but that was it's, my it's, argument. It's learned business that, practice that, that's that was, just bad. That was how I ended up in an argument with Rory, 
whether we agree that Puff is in the music business or not. Maybe Rory is right and Puff is in the music business. But my 100%. point there was the those old practices, I can't say as someone that works closely with Puff that he practices those today because he's not actively trying to sign artists, music artists mm-hmm. today to those deals, right? If this is true, what he is saying about Mace and Mace is carrying on those business practices, what do y'all say to that? Because my thing today is, hey, we all preaching ownership. We all kind of got enough. There's enough out, out, uh, outlets out there to kind of tell us what we should be doing and what we shouldn't be doing, what was fucked up back in the day. If Mace is doing that, and I don't know it to be true, allegedly, mm-hmm. what would y'all say to that? If he's and allegedly what, and doing what, that and, with Fabio? And, and what would y'all say to Fabio? Well, I mean, again, Fabio, he has a probably one of the biggest records out right now. Um, fairly new. We didn't know much about him before this record blew. So he may have taken a deal that now if he goes on to have a career like a Mace did or a 50 did, I'm sure he's going to be sitting in front of his phone posting on his Instagram a video echoing the same sentiments of, yo, I need some of that kickback. I bet he'll do something different. Like what? Can't say on the podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, we don't know yeah. yet because his career is still so no. So new Yeah we don't know Like if he disappears okay. And never puts out another record Then I'm sure he made more than He expected to make And you know what Off on a sidebar tangent Right Saturday night at the Barclays There was a concert Where Mace performed Where Maxwell performed They do it every Valentine's Where Day. Jagged Edge performed mm-hmm. Where In Vogue performed I missed it I think SWV might have been on that Everybody that I love Performed Mm-hmm. Great and R&B outside of, I do want to go to that Janet Jackson concert I don't know if I said it in this podcast but I do want to go um, they promoted that as the ladies night Valentine's Day concert and I have an issue why the fuck is that ladies night I love all of them <laughs> <laughs> I would have went <laughs> they didn't no, but you they didn't take make your lady me there. I don't have a lady oh, well, then. debatable debatable <laughs> debatable but wait hold on how you make how you make a point <laughs> And debate your own point. That's Joe. No, I like it. That's Joe. I like it. It's safe. That's the range. Yeah. Allegedly, I'm saying this. Yeah. I'm a, I'm Hypothetically. Deba- it's, no, it's debatable whether I have a lady or not. Yeah. But okay. I would have went to that Barclays show, even though I don't go to shows. They didn't make me feel like they weren't inclusive. Like, why is this ladies' night? I love all of them. And that's it. That's all I got for that. Uh, no, you can't love all no, of them. Fair, come on, they Jagged catering, Edge. They catering to the ladies, it's, it's back to my conspiracy. They catered to me. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? Valentine's you want, you want Day is you? for single women. Bing, bing, bing. It's my conspiracy theory. I've always been saying that that shit has been going on. It's it's catered to single women that have nothing to do on Valentine's Day. So let's go see Maxwell. I want to see Maxwell too. <laughs> Y'all want to see Maxwell too? I would like to see Maxwell. I'm, oh, a, fan, yeah. I'm a Maxwell fan. No, I get it. That was a really good lineup. No, no that, that was line, a good that lineup was crazy. I just that saw something in LA happen in May. Uh, lovers and the lovers friends. and friends. Can you pull that up, Screen Man? Yeah, that that line. I've never insane. heard of the lovers and friends festival, but this I lineup have not is. Either. That's a crazy fucking. But that lineup, lineup is I don't know nuts. what this is. Even when you get the small phone, it's still fire. No, no it's, it's still all some crazy. Down there. Fam, uh, I've been looking for Nina Sky. <laughs> no, shout honestly, out, honestly. Shout, I was just asking shout out to where Montel Jordan was yeah, like last week. Nah. nah, Nina Sky be on Steinway. Just go out there. It'd be a lavo. <laughs> this is the Lovers and Friends Festival, Los Angeles, Saturday, May 9th. This is not an ad. We're just fans. Yo, if you want to give us free tickets, though. All of the good yeah, festivals please. be in LA, man. There's more space. Warmer. Like, where are you going to do a festival Lauren, out here? Lauren Hill. Randall's Island Central again. Park. Usher, Ludacris, Lil John, something like. Something like. You may have heard of them. Fam. Tender Love and Care, TLC. You've heard of them. Yeah. Janae Aiko, you know the vibrations. Mm hmm. Summer Walker, mm-hmm. Meg the Stallion gonna hit a twerk for y'all. Right. <laughs> Nelly gonna hit the little country grammar for y'all. Mm-hmm. Puerto Rican Sean Paul gonna give y'all some shit with Bad Baby. It's not mm-hmm. Puerto Rican. T- yes, he is. <laughs> T Pain, Brandy, Monica, the boy is mine. Mm-hmm. Ja Rule, Fat Jew, Fat Jew. <laughs> Edit. Shout, out, shout out to Fat Jew. Edit. <laughs> no, that's a person. No, it's a person. He's a real it's person. It's not Joe, but it's a Fat Jew. Uh, fat Joe, SWV, Sweetie, Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, Genuine, Drew Hill, Next, One. Th- 
Yo, this these lines at the bottom are crazy. <laughs> oh, wait. Crazy. SWV, Sweetie, Lil' Kim, Foxy Brown, Genuine, Drew Hill, Next, 112, Mario, Twister. Why is Twister here? Don't, Eve, do, don't do that. He shouldn't yeah, be here. Yeah, don't do that. He shouldn't be here. He, he, should. Should. he should not be here. He should. Why? He's dope. He got records. He had the two Kanye joints he I'm got sorry, for his 15 minute right. set, and he's fine. Y'all are right. He got one of the best arm. No, 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 no. Y'all are right. Rap versus. Y'all are right, and I'm wrong. Yeah, no, he fits in this. Yeah. Doing what records? Uh, overnight, overnight celebrity. celebrity. Uh, and slow jams. Yeah. What else? They're in the lower font. They got what? 15 minutes. Yeah. That's not 15 minutes. That's four. <laughs> All right. Some do, uh, see, some, see, some do or die shit. Some sex appeal. And uh, do or die after Drew Hill. Yeah. Get him <laughs> out of here. Drew Hill next. One twelve. Mario. Uh, oh, I did that. Twisted Eve. Trina. Tweet. Amory, Mace, Cam, Cam, Mike Jones, Montel Don't Jordan. Don't say Cam can't get that. This no, set off in here. No, no. Cam, ha- slay, Cam has a set You ain't slaying here. Mike Jones, but you let... Uh, no, nah, don't do that to Mike Jones. I don't think Mike Jones should be in there either. Okay. Uh, Yumi or Umi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it I think they correct. should both be in there. Umi. They, they both should be there. Uh, this not going off? No. Yeah. I wish you'd turn it off. <laughs> Please Y'all turn it off. Y'all are fucking wildin'. Please turn it off. <laughs> After Montel Jordan, this is going off. No, it's not. Please turn this shit, shit off, Rory. Please turn this shit off. Rory gonna be getting his shit off. Rory do one little Houston do say and want to say this don't go off. <laughs> <laughs> this wouldn't kill it in there. <laughs> John B, Baby Bash, Frankie J, Frankie J. Wow, I haven't heard seen him in a while. And Nina, yeah, me either. And Nina Sky. This is amazing, and and I wish that I had time to go. I would love to go to this. Yeah, that's hard. Are we on the road at this time? We probably are. I'm sure we are. God damn it. Let me tell you something. How is 112 on this bill? I just seen uh, the 56 is beefing. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry? Half of 112. I don't know if that math adds up, but it's funny. <laughs> Not to get 56. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yeah, come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. You know what I mean? Wait, Fox, wasn't it Foxy three Brown of them? How is it half? There's no half. Well, half of 112. Yeah. Now it's four of them. There's four of them. It was four. Oh, it was four. Yeah, it was four. four. Foxy Brown is on the bill. You can do Foxy Brown math. Slim has been on <laughs> Rory. Slim has been. <laughs> Foxy gonna kill you. will never live that. No, man, was bad. <laughs> it was way off. Got the man was bad. No, I think it was right. Nazi. Right. Not buying because he yeah. wrote it. At the Actually, way. I would have loved to buy drugs from Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's the plug we all eat. Yeah. But yo, I only gave her thirty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a brick. <laughs> Why do I keep hitting the applause button by mistake? <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, Slim has been on his Instagram just going off about the separation of 112 and the differences that two of them have with another two of them. Mm. And it's well, just maybe, confusing to me because they did just put an album out like two years ago. Yeah, maybe uh, Genuine can fix their differences. And he went on to say that he, he does own the name 112. <laughs> I'll keep the puns going. <laughs> he owns the name. Okay. He owns the trademark name something. But they was in his ass about that. Pause. Mm. I hope they're all right. I wanted another 112 album. Yeah, I wouldn't need Rory, 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 Rory. He can't wait for that to come on. What the fuck is up with this kid? Get in his bag, I'm telling you. (laughs) Fucking freak ass nigga. That's what I throw on? Yeah, like it's a a, 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 few. You throw that on to clean up the crib? It's a few South songs that when they come on in New York, niggas just start getting freaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to see me when Juvenile Slow Motion come on. That's everybody, though. That is worldwide. Yeah, but I'll start gyrating by myself. That's Rory with the stupid fucking song. It's not playing no more. Smoke and drink. Buy your girl a drink. (laughs) (laughs) Buy your girl a drink. (laughs) Joe was yelling some bullshit. (laughs) You can hear it. That's just funny going back and say, Joe be yelling some bullshit. (laughs) I hear auto tune on my voice. We thought you you could hear it from the back. You're a little flat. For that. Nah, but you're a little flat, bro. We I try to help you reverb out. when I'm doing a fucking intro. I never got that. Nah, nah, he, nah. Got, he got you back. He got you right. Hey. I'm gonna stop singing on this podcast. <laughs> he got you. Nah, right. When, when nah, are y'all nah. gonna sing some shit? We should. We do. We should all write a song. Well, say, wait, uh, when we doing the rap shit that we said we was gonna more do for six listen months? listen to this podcast. <laughs> you didn't listen when we talked. Why? Because I said five months ago we're gonna all come in here and write a song. Oh, a whole you song? Said, no, you said a verse. You said no. Yeah, a verse, a verse. But it wasn't sixteen though. Yeah, you said an eight. No, right eight. I wouldn't put that pressure on you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Pressure on the And 16th. first of all, come on. Come on, man. It's a freestyle. Well, what the fuck it. you want from me? You gotta pay me for my no, 16. That's that's light. That eight was like, I the think eight just, is just, nah, I'm just getting into you it. You just got an eight. Nah, the eight is, I'm just getting into it. I'm setting you up for the other eight. 
<laughs> my first eight is the setup for the, the next eight. I think you're struggling for content in the second half of that 16. No mm. way. I think for eight, you getting your clothes off, Harlem shit, big. <laughs> I think for eight, you Look got you, you got said. enough content for eight. Why is he butt naked with his brother? <laughs> <laughs> no, Rory. Um, all right, I think we've covered everything that I'm about to cover. Is there anything that we're missing? Um, I heard a, a Hov and Nas snippet. Kill me on the internet and be really rude to me in my mentions if this is old. The Hov and Nas! But it was the first one that I had heard. I hadn't heard this before. I had never heard this before either. But I don't click them because I'd be scared that it's going to just be some old shit. Yeah, but y'all don't be hip to what's going on in, in the terrain. No, nah, sure. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're, right. No. you're right. I don't be. But this is a, apparently a Just Blaze Nas and uh, Hove record. But it sounds old. Whoops. Oh, they mixed it too. That's dope. I only hear it in one ear. Is that just me? It's, I think your cases are bumping it. It was like that for me, too. But now you fucked it up worse. That's fine. Keep playing. Yeah. This is a... Uh, I heard this beat before. This we, Slaughterhouse had this beat. Yeah, 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 I think so. I think in the Glasshouse sessions... I think It sounds familiar. I think there's... I vo- mean, we have vocals I mean, just on has that a, beat Just somewhere. has a sound, so I don't want to... No, we rapped on that beat. I'm positive I, of it. I'm pretty sure, too. Well, you guys also rapped on that? The Ross the and Swizz joint that been came a bunch on the last... Yeah, a, a lot of stuff came from that Slaughterhouse yeah. sessions where I'd be like, wait, I've heard this before, yeah. and then go on my laptop, and I'm like, oh, there's a whole Slaughterhouse song that <laughs> exists yeah. on this beat. Uh-huh. That snippet sounds hard, though. It does. I would like to hear the song. Shit, I, I would love to hear that on the <coughs> JLX joint. So, yeah, that could be one. So y'all don't want to redo the industry rankings with Parks playing his own album? No, I think that's fine. <laughs> no, because you play your own album. <laughs> I have not played my own Which album. Which is why I would have to be third or fourth. <laughs> Fam, you were just wrestling with Big Sean. I wasn't wrestling. He did. He did give you nuggies. I was posing for a picture. That was not a pose for a picture. That wasn't my. That wasn't my pose for the picture. <laughs> he, he took it too far. <laughs> okay. I was like, right, oh, okay. okay. This right. is cute, I guess. You took it. You, <laughs> all right. This is how you you feel took it? it too far with Big Sean. You're, num- you're number one. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing that that Lovers and Friends Festival is fake. Really? You are lying. No way. Kim, Lil Kim came out and said, yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. And Meg is also booked the same time for Broccoli Fest, but I was like, all right, with time zones, if you fly private, you might be able to get that done. But no, I'm, I'm hearing this shit is fake. This is uh, the this the Fiery Festival? May said it was fake, but Ann Twister said it was fake, all because of what Joe said. <laughs> I'm a little tight about that now. Me too. They should have done it. <laughs> Some sounded up with that. Like... If you're a first time festival, I don't think you booking all of them acts in your first well, time out. You know all the bigger brands come to shit. We should have knew it was and, fake and, when we saw Lauryn Hill. I could see like Verizon dump fucking fifty mil into a new festival and try to make it look like it's not Verizon, and then when you get there, it's only Verizon. Yeah, <laughs> plastered everywhere. Not don't worry, listen. you guys. I'm working on Live Nation or some corporation giving me a whole lot of money to do my own festival. Man, y'all sit tight. It's coming. I will book next in 112 <laughs> and Mario and Cam and Montel Jordan what about and Twista? SWV. I'm not, maybe Twister. Maybe on the appropriate lineup. <laughs> That's all. Baby Twister Batch. do have joints that'll go off at the R&B lineup. Just, Hell yeah. just not 15 minutes worth. And I no. say this, listen, a lot of times I say shit from my own experience and it sounds funny. It sounds funny to y'all because how could that be the experience? But if you've never performed on a stage and you don't have records to perform on a stage, you don't know that your three-minute record is 50 seconds on stage. Yeah. Hell yeah. And you should have a few of those. <laughs> yeah. Especially like the 15 a, minute set. a feature. <laughs> now we're looking at 20 seconds. I wanted to come in here and kill Ashanti a few weeks ago, but I didn't because don't, you shouldn't uh, talk uh, down on hey, women. Hey, and first of all, relax. <laughs> Fam, y'all keep saying that when it comes to Ashanti. Yes, you're right. Ashanti performed at Super Bowl at pre-festivities, like before the game. 
She performed the J-Lo record, uh, I'm Real, so. with a picture. That's fine. She wrote it. You can perform it and, as long and as... And that's, that's hey, her singing, too. I'll never have a beef with you performing a record that you wrote or a record that you perform backgrounds on and let people know what time it is. Uh, she def- performed def- it and She performed it... No, her background's on there. No, 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 no. I, I'm saying it's it's in the front. <laughs> it's not just background. Front round. Dog, that's the front round. That's the front round. That's her singing. Yeah. But she performed this record in front of a picture of her being hugged up with Jennifer Lopez. And that's where cl- that's where it's clown shit. But I'm not gonna say that because as a man we can't say that about women. And the next day she What's did an interview. Shit? The next day she did an interview, and I was coming here to play that interview for y'all, where she was flabbergasted that the interviewer wanted to know if there was beef between her and Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> but why? But you can, there's nothing you can say. There's nothing you can say. I'm confused. Why you think that's weird that they were hugging? They worked together. No, I think they have history. No, 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 no. I'm sure they have history, and I'm sure she's angry at some of that history, which is why she's performing this record in front of a picture of her and Jennifer uh, Lopez. This, this, her and Jennifer Lopez hugged up before Jennifer Lopez has to go perform the next day, and you know she's doing that record. Come on, Rory, don't do that. But this goes back to our mm, okay, initial too. conversation of saying who's launching whose career. She was a a background singer and a writer whose mom or grandma owned a dance studio where Irv and them used to hang out. Like, she was just some chick. And they was like, yo, you want to write this? And she said, yeah. And then it turned out to be one of the biggest records ever at the time. So, yeah, what do you, it's the same but conversation not, back to the publishing we were talking about. No, it's not, because you're not directly responding to what I'm saying. I get that, and I agree. There's nothing to argue with what you're saying. The act of performing said record in front of a big-ass screen of you hugged up with the artist whose song it is, who's performing the next day, what does that give off? That's what I'm asking. Collab- clown shit? No. I don't see how it's clown shit. Y'all collaborated on a record together. That's and it's clowny. And it's a hit. That's not clowny, do you? I get what Joe's saying. It's kind of like... That's clowny, why, not, why you not wouldn't be on the main stage tomorrow with her performing that record? Or perform your record. Why do we have to, because, why do we have to look at a picture uh, those, of you and Jennifer Lopez? Those two things are not c- connected on who's on the main stage there and who's not. Because J-Lo is a pop icon. I don't see how those two things are connected at all. J-Lo could have put that song on her set. She did. It was in her set. It. She performed yeah, it. Yeah, of course she oh, performed. Did she? Of course she performed and, and that didn't, record. And, and I don't, didn't remember. I don't remember. No, no, she performed it, but that's fine. But why, why would you bring Ashanti out on that record? Because to we're nerds, so we know that she shit. would not bring Ashanti. Of course out she record. wouldn't. It's not an Ashanti record. <laughs> Rory, I'm only asking you about Ashanti performing the record in front of a big jumbo picture of her and Jennifer Lopez. Nothing else. I don't think yeah, J Lo would bring her out. I don't, Jason. and I, and that's I don't think Ashanti shouldn't perform the record. I'm talking about how she performed framed. The performance of the record. That's it's valid. clownish. That's valid. It's valid. You didn't need that picture on the... On the, on the At all. J-Lo has nothing to do with this. She's performing tomorrow night. She's the featured act. Yeah. Mm. And if you're going to do that, then cool. Do what you want. But you have to anticipate somebody saying, hey, what was that about? Well, not for nothing, too. Even though it's a day difference as the opener or opening act or opening show, whatever, you're not really supposed to perform what's going to be the centerpiece of the... Even if it's a day well, that, difference that go, in that, that goes, situation. That goes to the producers of the show. If I'm thinking about what's going to be the best part of my set and I'm Ashanti and I can bring out J-Lo, all right, y'all are stupid for letting me bring a headliner out right now. But I'll do it to make my well, set better. She didn't bring her out. She didn't bring her out. She put mm. up a picture. You're talking about just a picture. Oh, I didn't. All right, I thought y'all, y'all were saying she brought I didn't see the uh. Ashanti performance. The pre, no, I didn't see it. Dancing in front of a picture. That's what my whole argument is based around. Yeah. Oh, wait. She just put up a picture? Yes. Yeah. I take everything I say back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, wait, why just, did she do that? To anybody that's out there listening that it wants to open up for people, do not use any of said people's shit in your opening act ever for any reason. There might be something in the contract. <laughs> it's something there, man. I can't wait till we get a Murder, Inc. doc. Mm. That's a fact. The Murder, Inc. doc will be better than a lot of docs. Big facts. What? I'm, if it's done right. Big facts. Yeah. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, with that whole feds running in the building, Bruh. Supreme being involved, Irv, Ashanti, Ja, it's... it's there's a lot. To, there's a lot there. I wonder why I wonder why Irv hasn't actively begun trying to shoot that probably, himself. Probably because of the feds thing. Uh, Potentially. I know Irv, Irv has been vocal about yeah. doing the Supreme team doc. So I don't know if maybe he's focused on that first and then doing the Murder Inc. one. I mean, that would be but a don't good they follow have, up. When is the the Murder Inc. Isn't the, doc is the twentieth anniversary the, the 50, this year? Fifty and Ja and the history there, like mm-hmm. it's a lot in the Murder Inc. doc. 
Yeah. It's and it's just so much with Rough Riders and Rockefeller and Def Jam at that time. You can include and all of that. Everyone no, of has hits is the like the part that makes it great. Like and, everyone and, was no, and just Irv in general and where he was with all of that. Yeah. Like Irv is the centerpiece that you could add in every Hove DMX thing that you wanted. Leor, Kev, you could bring in literally so much just into a Murder Inc. doc that maybe Rockefeller and Rough Riders couldn't. And Irv is great and entertaining in himself. Oh my god! Yeah, so fucking. And Irv. you know what? If this didn't, and, and if this for some reason were unable to be a real life doc, I wouldn't mind seeing the Murder Inc. story done like Wu Tang did their story on Hulu. Oh yeah, this I did see this. The, the series Murder right? Inc. The series. Irv Gotti, y'all ready? All right, so he's he's, he's working right. on it. Irv is smart. Yeah. Irv is smart, man. I wonder if Irv still do them fucking hidden poker games in the city where he made all that fucking money. Shh. <laughs> oh, no, because <laughs> Irv, Irv is not here anymore. He's not in New York. Shout out to Irv. Shout out to Murder, Inc., man. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the fans. Thank you all for, for just riding with us on this five-year journey. Thank you all. Thank you all. Maul, Thank you, Joe. Parks, Rory, Erickson, Savon. Uh, Alex, Rim, thank thank y'all just for y'all devotion Ch- to, to what we do, y'all passion for what we do, uh, y'all y'all excellence just at what we do, man. Uh, I know we don't talk about it often, but I appreciate that from you guys. Thank you. I'm forever in debt, indebted. Whatever Rory said in his little Instagram post, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> that. I'm that too. Okay, uh, <laughs> got you. Y'all got any final words? Uh, thank th- you. Thank you, Joe. Seriously, yeah. thank y'all. Thank Joe. Thank the listeners. Um, and to another bigger and better five. Yeah. The we funny of, shit is this is five growth. this is five years and it really is the, the beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just figuring shit out. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> Boy. Well, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. We're getting out of here. Uh, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, peace, adios, arrivederci, so long, goodbye, hasta la vista. Talk to you later, man. Be safe. Be careful out there. Have a real safe week. And y'all know the vibrations, man. We'll be back on Saturday. Anything coming up this weekend that's important that we need to know? I hope not. Uh, the Royce album Friday. Oh, for That's true. Hey, oh. wait a minute. Yeah, Royce yeah, album is finally dropping. Yeah. Royce album. This month flew by, man. Oh, D. I'm so glad. That, I'm mad that we don't get a winter, but I'm glad that the months are flying by in the contract year. I will say that. I, I don't know. We might we might get a harsh march just by accident. Of snow? Nah, the ground hold, the ground hold yeah. t- told us it was going to be cool. Oh, yeah. We seen that nigga. Yeah. He came out and said, nah, it's cool. Oh, that's it's what cool. happened? Yeah. My, my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Hoes, you can wear your whole shit in March. It's happening. <laughs>